the most ghetto thing that I have mm. is that I'm actually using a bed sheet as like a mattress cover. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> How do you stretch that shit over it? With a lot like the fucking power of Zeus. Dude. I'm like, <laughs> no! like putting this, I'm like pulling the Red Sea back together. It's a zip. Yeah. It goes all around my mattress. Oh, you fucking oh, zipped oh. it around your mattress? Oh, yeah. What's up G Fuel enthusiasts? Welcome back to another episode of the Trash Taste Podcast. I'm That's here. what you came up with? Yeah, I don't that, know. That is it. That is it. Okay. That is I it. literally just looked at the nearest thing next yeah. to him. I was like, uh, G Fuel. <laughs> He's just playing I Spy at this point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back. I'm with the boys as usual, Connor and Gant. Yes. Did you see- I, 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 I am Steve Handjobs there. Yeah, Steve Handjobs, Bringing you back are. The Steve, yes. Steve Handjobs cosplay. I'm so glad that you're what making that podcast? a character. <laughs> I'm so glad. I was Just like- Every time I wear like a turtleneck now- yeah, You're Steve Handjobs. Yeah. Why do you have yeah. so many turtlenecks, guys? Cause it's, it's I swear, fucking I, cold I, in I, Japan. Okay? I never saw you wearing turtlenecks until this year. And suddenly this man's got no, a fucking- No, 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 He's always worn turtlenecks. No, he hasn't. Yes, he has. Basically, before, because I lived in Thailand, so like all- all the, the only like winter clothes I had were like turtlenecks. And I would just like, every time I come to Japan F in the first winter- time I, First time I met Gan, he was wearing like a black turtleneck. <laughs> it's like it's like Gan during summer, Neanderthal. Gan during winter, big brain, five head. <laughs> I'm wearing the turtleneck mother. <laughs> like I've never, like not gonna lie. I've I've never looked good in a turtleneck. So I've personally never worn it. And I think Gan is the only person I know that actually like you have rocks to be, a turtleneck. You have to be like kind of skinny though, right? To pull off a turtleneck. You, have, you need to be skinny and you also need to have like, a neck, you know? <laughs> like, a, yeah. like a long neck. <laughs> Sorry, Ed. Big, big, big Ed swaying right now. <laughs> yeah, just, I, just big Ed, <laughs> I just imagine Big Ed in a tail neck. No, it just, just covers his face. Just, he just look, he'll, he'll, he'll just look like roll on deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Ed. I'm sorry we're taking cheap shots at you, man. I'm sorry. You're so you're you're, you're questionable, Ed. But <laughs> oh, remember no. that was a thing in 2020, oh the Big Ed thing. Big oh Ed. So many good memes. That was, was, that, that was good. Can we can we just all agree that back in 2020, which is still when we're filming this, by the way, that my little pog champ was the worst meme of 2020. Yeah. Can we just can we just agree? I don't know what meme of the year was, but that but was, it was the worst. definitely not that. But it was definitely not that fucking meme. Let's just say that. I, that like I don't know that meme kind of. It, one, it came out of nowhere, and two, it died so fast. Well, because it was shit. I know. Shit. And I'm so glad that it was animated so that the poor person who voiced it didn't get fucking <laughs> obliterated. <laughs> Destroyed, because yeah. Could you imagine if there was like a person on TikTok? It'd be like, oh my God, it's, oh, it's, God. it's the Pog I girl. I guarantee there's like a number of like girls who went onto TikTok and did like the whole voice. Oh, there's probably, yeah, I bet yeah, there is. Of course there I, is. I'm, not, I'm not gonna look. Have you, so, had, yeah. have you had like TikToks of people voicing over your videos? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially when I did a lot of like anime characters. Character stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's yeah, loads, yeah. and they fully dress up in costume. I've had I've had people doing that of just like me talking, like normally. Like they would take a segment of me from like an answer. So, so, so you just get a fan dub? Yeah. That, that's just a fan dub like, with extra I, steps. Like I saw a bunch where it's like someone took like really old audio of me in like an answer me simple where I'm just fucking answering a question normally. And yeah. they're just like voicing over and acting over. I was like, I mean the content. There's, there's lots of <laughs> other like audio clips you could have taken that's a little more interesting, right? Like do you, yeah. ever, do you ever get people like uh, impersonating your voice? I get that a lot. I mean, yeah, but that's because you have a distinct voice. I guess. I, I don't exactly have a distinct voice. There's a few videos out there of people like, like I think I've mentioned this before on the podcast, right? Where right. They, they like go around on Discord, pretend to be- Yeah, 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 yeah. Film yeah, the yeah. reaction. I don't have crazy fans like you, so oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and what, do they just do like the most broken the English like, accent? Hello, I'm Connor. <laughs> And then and like, like, oh my God, it's C Dog VA. And I'm like, I'm like what? <laughs> I'm like, that is not me. That doesn't sound like me. Why are you believing this Hello, man? I'm Connor. Hello, governor. <laughs> Literally, like a terrible a British accent. Doesn't sound remote. But with a deep voice. Yeah, it just doesn't even sound remotely like me. It's just a British accent. Oi, 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 what's going on here? <laughs> they'll be like, they'll be like, this is a C Dog VA video, this is. <laughs> oh my God, it's a real C Dog VA. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh my God. there's there's like they'll they'll like do yeah exactly so they'll people will impersonate Sebastian but yeah, not like yeah. the actual Sebastian they'll impersonate like my Sebastian the Sea Dog VA Sebastian. Sebastian but they'll be like in the American accent how the fuck do I do this because I'm so ingrained to do some British it'll be like because you know like Sebastian's catchphrase is yeah, like, yeah. I'm simply one hell of a butler yeah, right they'll yeah. be like I'm simply one hell of a butler and it would be like. <laughs> And it was like awful. Cause it was sound like a like half English, half American attempt. And it's like, what? And, and then that, the that, that was a diff that was like layered, like 
Yeah, that, <laughs> that, that, that was, was hard to do. <laughs> I was like, how do I break that my own? like 100% uh, of your uh, brain uh, power a, a, a to Brit- do that. A British person impersonating an American person impersonating <laughs> a British person. <laughs> and then I'd be like, I would hear these I'd hear these voices they would do and I'm yeah. like, there's no way they're gonna believe that. And then the yeah. moment they do it, they're like, it's Sea Dog. Oh my God. And I'm like, what? This isn't me. And then there was someone as well who went on like voice acting websites yeah. pretending to be me called It's Connor. Or yeah. something. It's Connor. And they would go around making references to my videos. Like I fucking reference myself. <laughs> like I go around being like, oh yes, remember that time I was Sebastian, you yeah. know, good times. Like who the fuck references themselves? That's that's some like Tommy Wiseau shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like who, who actually does that? Like it's the only thing you have, Yeah, it's, right? like, it's like, I've made it now. I'm, I'm yeah, done yeah. making new stuff. I'm just gonna reference myself <laughs> until I'm, until <laughs> I'm like, what? And people are like, shit, it's Sea Dog. Yeah, he I said was. the thing, so it must be him. It, it infuriates me to death because I'm like, if this is all it takes to get, get you to believe this is me, yeah. I hope your credit card gets stolen. <laughs> you deserve it. Like you had it coming if you think that's me. Yeah, <laughs> true. No, no, seriously. Like I haven't had people impersonating my voice, but I've had people no. like, you know, kind of trying to do it by just speaking in a shitty Australian accent. Yeah. And the, sometimes the voice, it's totally not me. It's, yeah, it's yeah, a completely yeah, yeah. different yeah, yeah. voice, but because they're speaking in like a semi like, right, right. oh, I'm fucking it is, it, Australian, eh? It, like, is, it is pretty funny how like, how much room people are willing to give yeah. for interpretation. No, so I, I've, I've not seen any TikToks, but I've had exactly the same like comments of like some random YouTuber who like is reviewing anime clips or something in a slight British accent. And they're like, Gigguk. oh my God, it's Giga, it's fucking Giga. <laughs> and not just the, the thing that annoys me more, more actually is not on YouTube or TikTok, but it's on Twitter, where where anyone, apparently anyone Southeast Asian who posts like a selfie now, who is also into anime, is just like, oh my God, you look like Gigak, you do. Oh my God, I have so many fucking photos of people, like just like random Indian celebrities. (laughs) And people are just like, yo, I thought that was Joey. What the fuck? (laughs) Like like I had a guy, my sister even sent me one. It was like, she found like on TV, there was this like a Bollywood like movie, or I guess like some Bollywood show that they were like promoting on an ad or something. And apparently like one of the dudes just straight up, like uh, apparently looked like me. And I'm like, he's just a brown man with like a beard. Like that doesn't make That's me. You. Yeah. That's That's you. Yeah. Like, apparently every You're brown, brown man with a beard is me. Yeah, I, I get that with white dudes. Like every yeah. white dude with a beard on TikTok is yeah. like for yeah. some reason, everyone's like, they say I look like Cedo. I'm like, what the fuck? No, Dude, Is there like, is there like any moment where that kind of like, uh, like, oh, that you look like so-and-so person has been kind of flattering? Uh, so I, I've I mean, only had one example of that. Right? And that's when people said that I look like, uh, what was it? A cracked out Jason Momoa. <laughs> 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 it's like, oh, you look like Jason Momoa if he didn't work out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Jason Momoa is a fucking good looking dude. I think I had like Benedict Cumberbatch once, but I was like, yeah, you had Benedict, Benedict Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch. No, right, right. But like, <laughs> I used to have like really big, like curly hair that looked similar to him. So my right, parents right. used to yeah, joke yeah. that I was like him. And I'm cool, cause I was also like- British. Yeah, British. <laughs> yeah. Well, my parents are British too, Jerry. What do yeah, you mean? I know. Oh, he's British, yeah. my kid. <laughs> he's a British man. Therefore he looks like Benedict Cumberbatch. Just, fuck it. I was like, no, I don't. I don't look like that fucking man. I'm joking. <laughs> no, he's nice. He's fun. We like it. We like him. We have fun. Do you have one got? I, I, I don't know. Gaunt's too distinct. Gaunt yeah. has a very <laughs> distinct Cause place. like no, nobody really knows anything about Southeast Asia. So right. now it's just like, every, it's like we're, we're, the, we're the, like the new, just like Japanese or Chinese people right now. <laughs> because cause, cause now that like Chinese and like Japanese culture has been more like, and Koreans have been like more, uh, pushed like out, right? globalized. Yeah. Like our Southeast Asians are just sitting here in our own corner being like, uh, you know, we're, 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 there's more than like one country here as well, guys, you know? It, it's gone from like, I can't tell the difference between Japanese, Koreans and Chinese. Yeah. To, I can't tell the difference between Thai, Filipinos you know, and Malaysians. Vietnamese. Well, Vietnamese. Malaysians. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I feel called out. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's not like half the memes on like our subreddit. It's just like a different white person with a beard. And it's just like, oh my God. He, he, it's Connor. It's he, Connor. He, I he, thought he, it was a Connor. Mon- it's a well, monkey brain. He, I, he. I, I got no beard now, actually. Well, I mean, I just shaved it like two days ago. Oh, so. wait, the wow. amount of memes though of like you with baby face is hilarious. Is yeah. I do look like a 10 year old without a beard. Someone fucking posted on the subreddit, this like old ass photo of me in a suit. Have, have you guys seen yeah, that? I saw yeah, that. yeah, yeah, I saw yeah. That. I was like, what, why? How do, they, how do they find that? Is that on Google? It's on my Instagram, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like the <laughs> second ever photo I put up on Instagram. <laughs> I was like six years old or something. You do look so sad as a baby. I know, I was like, fuck, how old was I? Like 20 maybe? 
Yeah, you, yeah. Look, you, you just looked at the kind of kid who was like, get me out of here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I did. Yeah, I, I, I regret putting that photo <laughs> on. <to you. laughs> it's not a good photo. Of me. I mean, for, for me, I feel like I haven't changed much, like my look apart from, the only thing that's changed is the spikiness of my hair <laughs> over the years. You've calmed you, down, you've you, calmed you, down. You can tell the giguk years by the younger I am, like the more spikes in the hair, yeah. like the, there are. You look at some of my first videos and I look like fucking Sasuke, man. I'm, I'm wondering, right? Like, how did you decide on that hairstyle? Cause that's like, yeah. that's a look, is right? That, is, that, that, is that like hair you've had since you were young or? No, I, th I think, I can't remember. I just remember because I have like hair that's really easy to be spiked up, right? right. So I think ever since what, what I was constitutes young, hair that's easy to spike up, like, like light and uh, really? yeah. oh okay. I mean, like, like, like could you I spike up your yeah, hair? Yeah, easily. If I had no, like no, 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 because gel. my hair, like if I cut it short, I put a bit of water in it, and it just like immediately, like naturally, it's just like the the fucking anime character spike. A lot of look. like Asian hair has that too, because like my hair is also like quite strawy. So like if I put gel in it. And it's just fucking up forever. Oh, I don't know. Like, yeah, no, I get that. But like, but, but then again, it's like, just because your hair can do that, <laughs> doesn't mean you have to like commit you, to like, it, right? Was it, was it, okay, was it inspired by anime? Yeah. Sure. No, no, it wasn't Fuck inspired off. by anime. What was it inspired by? It was inspired by, there's Sonic only- the there's, there's only so many hairstyles I could pull off and I had no idea what pull the fuck off. I was doing with my hair. Therefore, look, it it was the hairstyle that took the least amount of effort to do because all no, I was- No, 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 no. That like a no, lot no. of effort. It yeah. was not, okay, it was not, because like, like I said, my hair hairstyle is just naturally spiky. So all I would need to do, just put a bit of water, put a bit of gel and just go. And it was done. Bro. It was done. It, it, yeah. it, it naturally, like it naturally went to, the, to that shape. Naturally so I, Sonic I, the I, 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 Yeah, naturally Sonic the Hedgehog. I just woke up and I was Sonic. You know, <laughs> <laughs> like what can I say? No, because like, I remember in some older videos, your hair is like, so it looked like a wig. That's yeah, like, yeah. that's how that's how perfect the spike was. I was like, this man could pass off as like a side character of Yu-Gi-Oh. It, like, like, it was like, you'd been watching too many like David Bowie concerts. And you were like, <laughs> all right, I like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mimic that. Uh, Basically, that's what it looked yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I wasn't trying to mimic anything. I had, no, I just had like no idea what the fuck. It I was, was like some guy who was like trying to bring back like the eighties glam rock scene. Because you know? it's like <laughs> when the, whatever the Mister Anime you talking about that video oh pops my up. God. It's so funny watching that and seeing Gaunt just like with like this teenage hair, being yeah, yeah. just being really sad. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel bad, but like because obviously you're my mate, I'm like, oh, that's funny. The thumbnail, <laughs> the, like if you didn't know the context and you just saw the thumbnail, it looks like the most like angsty fucking video. <laughs> It, it, it is, it, yeah, it yeah. totally fucking yeah, is. It's just, I, I can't focus because your fucking hair is like Sonic the Hedgehog like, while you're talking about like- It's like 60% like, of the frame. You're talking about like <laughs> arguably like the most serious thing ever. <laughs> And you've got like this fucking Sonic hair. And, and I, I can't focus on it. <laughs> yeah, Cause I'm just talking about, yeah, this guy just like killed, killed his, his family. family. Yeah. But bro, that yeah. fucking hair though, yeah. that fucking Meanwhile, Sonic Meanwhile, this hair. man's hair has its own orbit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> yes, oh. welcome to Trash Taste, where we are- we, we we trash on each other's tra haircuts. Tra tra now, now we're trashing on each other's haircuts. As as good mates do. What, what, I mean, what that's what we do. That's what yeah. constitutes as a mate, right? Like, is, are you, can you really call your mate a mate if they don't make fun of you after a haircut? But okay, like did, okay, like did you re- Did you, what age did you reach where you actually like paid attention and gave a shit about what you looked like? Cause I was uh, like really uh, fucking late. Yeah. Cause same. literally the reason I looked like that was because I didn't really give it gave give a shit about what I looked like right. until I got to like my first second year of uni. Yeah, I was probably but about the same. Did, did you ever have any interest in dating when you were, you know, in no. you didn't never wanted to like date a girl in school? Oh, so you I, went to I, mean, I went to an all boys school. I mean, so of course I did. I, 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 I love my boys, but uh, <laughs> not like that. Uh. It's like, yeah, I, bring, I invite him to kiss X sis. Yeah, yeah. But we don't yeah. kiss, we don't yeah. kiss. Like we'll, we'll have a session kiss X sis, but I don't care what you look like. It's all right. Yeah. No, like, uh, yeah, I, I guess maybe it's because I went to a boys school that, not to say that I didn't hang Man, out I with girls. Man, I fucking would love to have gone to a boys school. Yeah, even got the pressure of having to fucking try and Impress. get a girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. try and get a girlfriend because everyone else is getting one. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, not to say that I didn't have any interest in dating, yeah, yeah. but it's just like, it wasn't a priority for me. Bro, I was speed running them in school, man. I, my, I never had one that lasted more than like two weeks. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean that that was school relationships. Yeah, in yeah, I, I had right. one that lasted like three months, and the boys were like, "Damn, you lasted three months." No, no. If, if you last more <laughs> three than three months, a, is a long time. Yeah, that's high school. It's a long time. That's that's a that's a dedicated relationship. Yeah. Anything beyond a month is yeah. like, okay, I am dedicated to. They're they're probably getting married. You know what yeah, I mean? Exactly. It's like one <laughs> step away from marriage, right? With this three months, like, damn, my life's set already after this. I, I, I think I must have started paying attention to like how I looked at maybe. Well, okay, I say how I looked. Mm -hmm. The hair, basically, like everything else was like. 
What am I gonna wear? A fucking school outfit, you know? Oh my, yeah. My mum still bought all my clothes, so like. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I like, no, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't start buying my own clothes until I moved out. No, same. No, same, same here. Same yeah. here. Yeah. Like my mum was just like, yeah, I got this nice t-shirt. It was like some shitty like, yeah. five dollar t-shirt from Target. I was like, yeah, fuck, I'll wear that. My mum still buys me clothes and sends them. And really? It's, it sucks that she's fucking better taste than me. You know what's weird? Aki's mum buys me clothes, <laughs> but my own mother doesn't anymore. <laughs> Dude, I remember us. We we did a shoot like uh like a week ago. Yeah. And I remember Joey had to borrow one of your one of your t-shirts. And just seeing Joey in one of your like t-shirts, I'm just like, this is such a Connor shirt. Cause yeah. it was just like, it was just like a plain t-shirt. It's in literally a, that, but a, a different color. It's a plain t-shirt in a drab okay. color. <laughs> and I'm just like, man, this this just screams Connor it's right now. Color, it's a color that I would never buy. And is a color that Connor would definitely buy. It's, it's take, okay, this is gonna be one of those weird Connor things, right? Yeah. right. It's, I've only like last year, have I been open to the idea with owning shirts that have nothing but plain color. Right. Um, for some reason in my head. Is it because you don't like logos or? I hated logos and prints. They drove me insane. Really? Why? I don't know, for some reason, it just looked cheap to me. And always, and, and that's, mm. I mean, it's kind I mean, of no, like, I get that. Like, like, like that it's, it's normally they're cheaper. These, these guys. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I get it, that, it depends though. because it some 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 of them can look very tacky, and I, I feel like there's a fine line between having a cool print and yeah. having yeah. A, like a cool piece of artwork that just looks tacky on a t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, it's the whole concept of like simple is best. Mm. Right? Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. You, you know, that's like the whole reason why like all those like high brand shirts mm. and shit like that are so fucking simple. I mean, I think I think that's what changed my opinion of like fashion in general is that right. I, did, yeah. I have started to be more open to spending a bit more money on clothes. Right. Cause at the end of the day, it's like, all right, I'm wearing this shit for like how many months? Mm. Yeah. Like I'm, and I'm gonna be on camera as well, especially. So like, I wanna wear shirts. I mean, I'll, you know, today I'll see. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still, I've still got a little bit of the old me left. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. obviously recently I've been like, okay, I'm willing to spend like, all right, let's spend 80 bucks on a t-shirt, which is unthinkable to me three years oh, ago. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because bear in mind, in university, I used to go to Primark, which if you don't know what Primark is in the UK. I've been, I've been to Primark. Yeah, so- but Primark's amazing, by the way. It's yeah. basically- If you're about to shit on Primark, I'm, I'm gonna fight you on that. Well, I mean, it's, you know, I, I don't wanna question how they make the shirts so damn cheap. Yeah. I'm sure there's some ethical questions yeah. there. <laughs> I remember I specifically bought eight t-shirts for 10 pounds, <laughs> which is like $15. It's and, amazing. And yeah. I fucking loved these shirts because they were all plain, yeah, yeah, yeah. nothing yeah. on them. And I wore them for like two years straight, these shirts. Oh yeah, I did. They were fuck, fucked by the end of it, right? Yeah. Like, like, I, for, for real though, Primark, is like one of the best low right. budget kind of right. clothing brands I've ever seen globally. Yeah, true, honestly, true. The, like like the the shit you can get for the price at Primark, which I don't know where Primark's available internationally. It's I know, in Europe, I think. Is it in Europe? Yeah, Europe. yeah. It's it's like if if you want a budget place where you can just buy cheap clothes that don't it's really that cheap. don't look cheap. Mm. Yeah, because, you know what I mean? Because people said Uniqlo here is cheap, and yeah. we have Uniqlo in the UK. Yeah. It's it's not cheap. Uni Uniqlo compared, compared to, to Primark, Primark is yeah. like. Yeah, Very Uni cheap. Uniqlo is cheap for the quality that you get. Yeah, yeah. Like you'll pay a little bit extra for like a t-shirt yeah. at Uniqlo, but that shit's gonna last you like 10 plus years. I, I bought a whole suit from Primark for like $40. That <laughs> yeah, I wore 30 pounds, the 30 pounds set, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I did exactly the yeah, same for my, my prom and my, everything. My graduation, I wore, <laughs> I, wore, I, wore, I wore a $40 suit. And actually I hate to say it, but it's like, it doesn't look that bad. Really? Like it's not bad. It's not bad, that's the thing. I mean, Primark basically carried my university years. But, you know what I mean? Hmm. But there's a big but. And a lot of people in the UK tend to also have the same mindset, I think hmm. where, a t-shirt should never cost more than 20, 30 pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I can understand because if you know if you haven't got a lot of money, spending that much on one t-shirt is it's it's quite a lot, yeah. it's quite a lot. Yeah. But you know, as I started to, uh, I think that's where my my hatred of prints started is that I thought a lot of these Primark ones are pretty fucking shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they often do look super tacky. And I don't <laughs> I don't really like the collaborations. They have like SpongeBob and shit and then all that. You know, they like, oh, we, yeah. stole, we suck a PlayStation logo yeah, yeah, yeah. on it. I think they're just starting to do anime as well. Yeah, Which is yeah, weird. St I, I feel like, was it last year where they did like a DBZ or One Piece mm. collaboration Th as well? Yeah, there's been a lot of stores like that. Like Forever 21 as well, before they went under, like they did this like huge fucking thing with anime. So yeah. like yeah. every time I went to Forever 21, there was always like this entire a section of anime, but when you look at it, when, when right. you actually go over to it, it's just yeah. like, all right, let's see what they have. It's all like yeah. Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball it's Z. Always, yeah, it's always Naruto. the fucking basics. Yeah, I'm like, it's all yeah, the basic don't shit. give me that shit. I don't and, want, it, and it's yeah. not even done in like a creative way either. It's no. just like, let's just slap the logo and the main character. Yeah, yeah. The, it, like doing anime clothes is really hard. And we're, I'm probably gonna about to like call out like a bunch of our viewers by saying this, but like the ones
ones I hate the most are the ones where it's just like, it's just a t-shirt with a waifu on it. Oh, you know yeah. Logo or, or the anime or, or, or logo. Or like an anime yeah. logo. Like I, th th those kinds of clothes I call like anime convention clothes. Cause it's, it's, it's a t-shirt or clothes that I would only wear at an anime convention, That's but there's true. no way I would wear it. You, you know like what I call clothes like that? What? Pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only time I'm fucking wearing it is when I need to wear something in bed. <laughs> but there's someone, probably someone watching this right now in like a fucking Arsenal t-shirt yeah. to be like, oh, oh. <laughs> but I like this. Yeah. I mean, I, and then like, I think as well, going back to the whole cheap versus expensive stuff yeah. for clothes. Like it's only because I, I think because I moved to Japan and actually started seeing like some of the clothes that I like really like and mm. it's like kind of expensive, but you're like, yeah. okay, I am gonna wear this a lot. Like when I paid like 350 bucks, fuck for that, that Diavolo, uh, sorry, King Crimson jacket. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like when I bought that, that was the most expensive thing I'd ever bought like mm. clothes wise. And I thought, yeah. oh my God, this is this is insane. But <laughs> this, that's, is, this is peak. <laughs> this is insane, $350 on a fucking yeah. jacket. Okay, yeah. it's sexy, look on screen, it's sexy. Yeah. But now that I've been wearing it, I wear it like pretty much every day. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm like, okay, if I'm wearing it every day, you know, and I get like maybe four or five years out of that, that's like 20, yeah, you're getting 20 a bank for your yeah, right? You know yeah, I mean? exactly. Yeah. I'm like, I understand that because I, I always thought that way with tech, right? Mm. Like to me, it's like, don't buy a $20 headset, buy a hundred dollar at least. Yeah. Right? Cause yeah. you're gonna get your money's worth. Yeah. And, and I, I don't know why for some reason it took me so long to have that with fashion. And I think going back to the whole topic, which is school and why I didn't give a fuck is cause I didn't, I just didn't care for clothes. I didn't really understand fashion at all. I mean, I who like does? I mean, I, 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 there was always that one kid in your school who somehow always fucking dressed amazing to shit. You don't have that kid? I didn't have that kid. I, I that kid. did not have that kid. I, I, I always, I don't know. I, I had kind of like a similar view of fashion, mm. which is just, I didn't get it. I, no, I, I didn't, I, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't understand it. anyone who would spend above like, yeah, $20, $20 or like $30 on the t-shirt. Yeah. I, I, I think my mum would like scoff if my if an outfit was over total $50. <laughs> She'd be like, look at, the, get a lot of this guy. Yeah. <laughs> I, th I think that's the thing though. It was that, at least with me, there was this like, because it was a boys school, but there was this whole, I guess like stigma of, people would dress oh, well. if you dress well, then right. you're, you're gay. <laughs> like that whole right, shit, right? right? Yeah. So I think people just, I'm sure there were boys who actually did give a shit about yeah. fashion and yeah. did didn't it, it. Yeah. but they didn't want to with the, because they'll probably worry Worried about getting beaten up and like, I, I get that, you know, like it's it's like, yes, a fedora might seem quite fashionable, you know, in the <laughs> common eye, but <laughs> why would you wear that if you don't want to get bullied, you know? Yeah, like, true. Like I like wearing fedoras. I, th I think they look fucking cool with the right outfit, but. <laughs> But, a lot, but the problem is, a I'm, lot of, I'm I'm gonna agree with Joey. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. I feel like I feel like the problem, the big problem with fedoras is that the like the fucking neck beard community just well, this, ruined yeah. completely there's, yeah, there's, ruined there's, their this is like image. the Hitler mustache. You can't wear it because Hitler's ruined it. Well, right? it, exactly. It's, it's the same thing with the fedora. You can't do it because you're gonna everyone's like in cell. That's the thing. That's the thing. But it's like, but that's the problem. I feel is that a lot of the reasons why fedora is just commonly seen as that type of you know negative thing is because. The the hat itself is fine. It's what you pair it with that yeah, just makes yeah. it look like absolute dog shit. Well, you thought you're, you're either gonna look like a neck beard or you're gonna look like a rip off Michael Jackson. There's right. like no in between. I mean, I'd rather look like a rip off Michael Jackson <laughs> than a fucking neck beard, right? <laughs> but like, but like I've seen- I, then, then you can truly enjoy your lolly white boots. <laughs> I, 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 I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> like I've seen, I've seen like fashion magazines of like dudes who like, you know, wear a fedora or like a hat of some kind that's similar to a fedora in like a really nice suit. Yeah. And they can match that yeah, shit. Yeah, but really those well. are like the most fucking attractive men on the planet. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Right? And that's yeah. the, that's the other problem is that there are no attractive <laughs> men who wear fedoras. <laughs> like, I'm just saying. I'm just I'm just <laughs> preaching to the choir right now. But that you know that's true. I mean I'm not gonna lie and pretend I know how fashion works, you know what <laughs> no, I mean? No, I'm, I'm no fucking fashionista. No, no, we're, 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 no, we're not God's fashion experts here. Thailand's next top model. <laughs> it's fucking Steve Handjob is like, let me teach you about fashion. <laughs> I mean I, I I mean I feel like having that one kid in school who mm. elevated the game really fucking elevated the he game elevated the game in school. <laughs> he was the benchmark. He was <laughs> he was the trend setter. He's really bro. making me look fucking bad, yeah. you know? When he turns up with his jeans with holes in them, I'm like, how can we compete? I don't have holes in my jeans. Oh wait, because, what am I supposed to do? Wait, because you guys didn't wear like school uniforms. No, no I, we did. I, 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 no, no, this we, is like we, to, we, if you had like an outside in school. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, and we yeah. had some days where you could you would pay for like charity. Yeah. You would yeah. pay like a pound to dress in normal clothes. Why do we right. do that? 
I, I don't know. <laughs> that, oh yeah, we, so yeah, we, we so we have this this thing in UK school, well, right? yeah, called Own Clothes Day. Yeah, right, that's right, right. Own right. Clothes yeah, Day, yeah, yeah. where where we'd have like one day in like the term or something where we could just come in in our own clothes. I hated it. And we had to oh, pay yeah, a pound. That. Yeah, yeah, we had and, that. Yeah, I was I was speaking to Sydney, and apparently, like she in her high school, they didn't have school uniforms. No. Yeah, they they just American high schools don't wear uniforms. Right? Yeah, uniform, yeah. School uniforms are big brain because you always wear the same shit every day. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's Great, yeah, you don't, don't have, have to worry wore, about yeah, like, oh, I wore yeah, the yeah. same t-shirt for three days in a row because yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's 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 a big reason why I didn't give a shit about fashion until like later True. in life, was just because most most days of the year I was wearing a fucking school uniform. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And well, although although I say that, this the fashion, like whoever designed my school uniform, like uh, deserves a slap because <laughs> like, okay. So in, in our high school, like you have to wear, th there's a set piece that you have to wear from when you're uh, seventh grade to 10th grade. Mm. And then when you enter 11th and 12th grade, you're like senior. So you get to wear like a, a senior blazer and like ah, long pants and shit right. like that. The senior uniform is fine. It looks dope as fuck. It's basically just a suit essentially. Mm, right. But the junior uniform is, uh, is, is a little, mm, because for one, uh, everyone has to wear shorts. <laughs> okay. Which is okay. because, you know, it's hot. It's, it's hot most of the year in Australia. So yeah. you wear shorts, but then on top of that, you have to wear long socks. Like, okay. Yeah. I'm talking like up to like the fucking like <laughs> knee long socks. Like anime Why? girl long socks. Like right? anime girl long, like these like gray, like knitted, like long socks. Someone had a fetish. <laughs> yeah, someone had a fetish. So like basically there's just these like seventh to 10th grade kids running yeah. around. We're basically just only showing their fucking knee. Was fuck, was your school run by like Herbert the pervert or something? I don't know. Like uh, uh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm, I'm not gonna get into that, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I fucking hated that. But, and of course, because, you know, I went to a private school. If you didn't wear your thing properly, you'd get yeah. fucking punished for it. Right? So it's like, like fucking, just, look at this private school. It's, yeah. like, so it's, like, oh, it's like, oh, I can see your shins. You're going to get a fucking slap for that. You pull your socks up. Mm. It's like, yeah. This episode is sponsored by Honey. We all shop online. And we've all seen that promo code field taunt us at checkout. But thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Honey supports over 30,000 online stores that range from food delivery to popular fashion brands. Imagine you're shopping on your favorite online sites. When you check out, the Honey button drops down and all you have to do is click apply coupons, wait a few seconds as Honey searches for all the coupons they can find for that site. And if Honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch those prices drop. So what did you save money on, guys? Pizza. How much did you save, Jerry? About $15. Damn. Yeah, it was, good. It was actually a good Damn. investment. Yeah, that's, that's a good- that's, Download that's, Honey. That's, I couldn't have done it without Honey. That's better than the supermarket meal deal from Britain that we always get. <laughs> I won't hear about this blasphemy. <laughs> honey has found its over 17 million members over $2 billion in savings. If that's not stonks, I don't know what it is. That is stonks as fuck. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing on free savings. These are free. It is 100% free guys. Why would you not take the free money? In a few seconds as well. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. And why would you so, not want to do that? So you should maybe get honey for free at joinhoney.com slash trash taste. That's joinhoney.com slash trash taste. Back to the episode. So in, in British schools, it goes secondary school, no primary school, then secondary school, then sixth form. Which is right? part of secondary school yeah. normally. Kind so, of, kind of. So yeah. like our high school is secondary school and sixth form like put together. That's like the Why same- Why does it skip from two to six? No, no, okay. So so it's called secondary school because it's the second school that you go to. Right. Yeah. So, and then you start at age 12 and then you can, oh, it's mandatory now, right? You have to do sixth form now, right? Yeah, yeah. So it used to be that you could leave at 16 yeah. and you could go and, you know, oh. you could go and work yeah. or you okay. could get an apprenticeship. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or you, uh, and then it was always an optional if you want to go to university. <laughs> you have to stay an extra two years, yeah. which yeah. normally has about, at least in my school, like half the kids left yeah. at 16. Yeah, so yeah, in Australia, that would be junior high and senior high. Right, okay, okay. Us. So it's right. like, we have high school. So we have primary school and high school as well. And high school is from seventh grade to 12th grade. The seventh grade when you're like age 12, 13? Uh, 13. 13, okay, yeah. okay, okay. And yeah. then you can leave at year 10, which is like, I guess the end of secondary for you guys. Yes. And then the last yeah. two years is senior. And, and, and that's like 16 to 18. And, and that's yeah. 16 to 18, then you can <laughs> go to uni. Yeah. yeah, so that's what it's like in the UK. Okay, 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 okay. I get that. Um, and like when I was in sixth form, so I was in my last two years, mm. uh, they tried to introduce to the school like blazers because we didn't wear blazers. Yeah, yeah we, we had blazers. Well we, well, we were a public school. So blazers right. were like, oh, get a load of these people. <laughs> so 
And there was like outrage because they were like, <laughs> because, right, here's the thing. The school uniform, you can only buy from like a special place, right? You right. can't just get it on Amazon. Right, 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 right. right. And they were charging like 70 pounds for the blazer. Right. And obviously this is a public school and right. 70 yeah. pounds, like a hundred bucks. And for some parents, it's like way too much. Yeah. yeah so yeah. they were like, what the fuck? No, we don't want a fucking blazer. And there's a whole like outrage about it. <laughs> right. And then eventually they were like, fine, fine. Okay, because the older kids are leaving, they don't need to wear blazers. So I didn't have to wear one. So it was very fun watching. So wait, it wasn't mandatory? So it was, was what, mandatory. What was your school uniform in uh I was just a tie. So so we in, in England we call sixth form college as well, which gets a bit confusing. Oh when, really? Because when, well, we, yeah, we, when we say when we say when we say college, we mean sixth form. But but most right. of the time. But you can go to college. You can go to actual school. college. You can, yeah. No, no, where college isn't college. College in the UK is uh one or two years, right? Of like a specialized thing that you can then right. use to then go into university. We oh, we call that something different. No, we have we have that college. That's college. Yeah, but we have sixth form college, and then we have whatever preschool university is that. Is that called college as I well? I believe those two are the same institutions. If I'm correct, because Someone because correct. in Australia we don't even call it college. Like we don't use that word. Well, well, college is. That's why when Americans say, "Are oh, you going to college?" We're like, yeah. no, 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 no. We're going to university. Yeah, we, yeah, we're going to uni. <laughs> it's, it's like yeah. the Winnie Pooh meme where yeah. it's like <laughs> college. <laughs> University. university. <laughs> well, because, because college is something entirely different to British people. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, yeah, I mean, anyway, yeah, they were, they were outraged. So half the, half the school didn't have to fucking wear blazers and half the young kids did. Right, so that was right, fun. Right. Was, you could just yeah. be like fucking, you know, hey, look at this fucking little 10 year old wearing his little blazer. <laughs> <laughs> no, we fucking loved the blazer. Like the blazer was I the best bit. Blazer. I, Cause we were, cause you weren't supposed to, but the teachers got right. so fucking done with it that you could just wear hoodies. Of your school uniform. Oh, really? really? Yeah, yeah. Man, they must have like, <laughs> where, yeah. where are the rules in this school, man? No, because in, for us in the winter, right? <laughs> like if it was just a regular, just white t-shirt underneath, it'd be way too fucking cold. Yeah. So sometimes you'd have, like you'd have to wear the blazer just to stay warm because the other option we had was this like, our, our school colors were black and red. So we had this- What are you fucking like the evil school in Hogwarts? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Like, so it was black and red. So like we had this, like, if you didn't want to wear a blazer, you had to wear this fucking bright red, white, like like woolen fucking like sweater. Yeah, we have something like that, but it was green. Like yeah, moss yeah. green. But like, yeah, I, yeah, I know the exact color. Yeah. But ours was like, <laughs> ours was like bright red, like like the reddest red yeah. you can think of. So you just fucking stick out in a crowd, right? I mean, at least you had like pretty colors. Well, ours was like drab purple. Yeah, but like, <laughs> yeah, but the problem was is that because it was like a wool thing, yeah. it was so fucking itchy. Like it doesn't matter how many times you wash that shit. You're just like, fuck, I'm warm, but Ow, <laughs> fuck this. So you, so people were just like, fuck it. I'm just gonna like spend the hundred bucks on the blazer. Cause it's, I don't want to wear this itchy ass fucking like grandma sweater shit. <laughs> no, cause I remember in my sixth form, I, I knew I knew I was a fucking grown up in my sixth form. Cause like, we went to like the cool sixth form because they let us wear our own clothes. And oh, this, this, wow. was, this, this was the big thing. We were allowed to call our teachers by their first name. Oh, oh. that was like bringing you up to the next level, man. Dude, like we could only do that, but like it was, it was a fucking kaiju gamble every time, right? <laughs> it was like, fuck, do I call you Mr. Smith or do I just call you James? Yes, I remember one, yeah. one, one student did that in my class and he immediately like, what the fuck do you call me? <laughs> You basically like said that. <laughs> that so many times, <laughs> especially towards the female teachers. It's like, it's like, uh, uh, excuse me, Margaret. And she's just like, what the fuck did you just call me? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, bro. I, I remember, I'm sorry, I just had this like flashback to something. Okay. I remember I did like, a, a, so we had to do a presentation during, do you have registration in Australia? For what? Were you basically, when you get to school, you did a separate class of re reg like registration to say that you're here and you know, you've, you've arrived Oh, like orientation stuff like that? I guess, yeah, orientation for maybe Americans. It's like a quick yeah. 15 minute thing where everyone just goes and says, Oh, oh yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm uh, here. Fuck, I forgot what that was called. It was called like- uh, Is that registration? Home, home, that's, what, that's what we call home it my school. Home class, home- We had a Welsh Home room. room. Yeah. Right, right. So home that room, was, that's it. That's home room, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's American, fuck, Joe. Yeah, no, we called it home room, yeah. Well, we, we I, in my school, we just call it registration in English, but I forget a Welsh word for it that I forgot. I don't fucking know, but we'd just do like a short presentation um, between like, it would always be one of the students presentation each day. Well, why would you have to do a presentation on what? Just about something you fucking learned. It was some fucking pretentious <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> what is that, at the start of the day? Yeah, you have to do a quick presentation about something you've learned that day. Oh my God, that so sounds was, awful. So man. I was like, <laughs> I was like 14, right? And, I, and, I, and we were, we all fucking hated it. And this teacher was horrible. So my, 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 my best mate in school had a really bad like stuttering problem. He got a lot better now, but ev everyone like loved this guy. Mm. Cause yeah. everyone just wanted to see him do well. And this one teacher was so fucking rude to him about his stutter. And it was so, and everyone was like, yo, all my homies hate that teacher. So all, we were all just like, we all took it in turns. Like 
trying to see how much we control in these presentations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did a pro gamer move. Yeah. I was like, you know what I'm gonna pre present? 9-11 conspiracy theories. <laughs> <laughs> I shit you not, I shit you what? not. And I dead ass think I got the teacher to believe me. Right. Right? And I like, so I came in, I was like, moon landing, fake. <laughs> <laughs> like, but what, what is the biggest conspiracy theory? Right. Like this, like, like Steve Jobs in a TED talk, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, I was like, listen, look at this. I did the wingdings thing with the, with the flight oh, number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, look, it's two towers and the star of Israel. I rest my case. <laughs> and everyone was like, everyone was like, no way is that? Cause everyone's like 14. Right. And, and the teacher wasn't that, he wasn't that like yeah. They were like, what the fuck? This is insane. Whoa. And then it was just so fucking funny. Cause oh, I, ne I never got told off for that. Really? No, I, th I think for some reason, I think they thought I was super genuine about my belief of it. <laughs> But so they didn't want to like so you trash on with, your beliefs. You just said it with enough conviction that they were still like, he must be right. Yeah, he must yeah, be yeah. fucking right. It, it, it wasn't just like the winding thing. I think it said a bunch of other stuff, yeah. but that was yeah. like the 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 big piece of evidence where I was like, <laughs> the look, <windings>. Microsoft planned 9-11. That's so funny. I do not know how I got away with doing that. Cause right. that is bad. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Fucking hell. I don't know how- We didn't, we didn't do anything during like home room. No? Like, I, I feel like they, the school just implemented that to give the teachers their 15 minute smoke break before the beginning, right? Like, well, it's cause our, our teacher was one of those teachers, uh, the one who did it. Cause we didn't have any lessons in there, but she was always that one who was like, you should be constantly and learning and advancing yourself. And I'm like, hell no, I want to play Modern Warfare 2 at home. What do yeah. you mean? I want to fucking prepare. Dude, like for us, like homeroom was just coming together and just fucking getting on our shitty iPhone 3s and playing Doodle Jump together. Like that, that, was, that was the only thing we did. Yeah. I'm wondering if we, I don't think I even had like a homeroom segment or really? session. Segment of the Se segment. <laughs> segment of the fucking school day or whatever you God want. God thinks of his it. life in episodes. <laughs> <laughs> the homeroom arc, <laughs> season one, season two. Oh my God. Yeah, I didn't have anything. Like that, but uh, yeah, let's talk about some current topics that sure, sure, don't sure, sure. Aren't, aren't just nostalgic trips back to high school. We, right? talk, we talk about high school and shit so much, but I mean, there's so many fucking funny stories. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the prologue it's, to our It's life. great memories. You know, <laughs> it, what, it, people listening to this who are still in high school won't understand, but once you're out of high school, you'll understand. You'll look back on them. God, I was such Man, a you sound, you sound like such a grandpa yeah. saying that. I you'll, you'll, you'll look back to your high school one I day. I remember back in the day when we only had three iPhones. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, what's the? I guess the big news. Other, other than Attack on Titan. Yeah, right? other, other than, than Attack, Attack on Titan, Titan, of course, everyone's fucking Probably gonna be all news by the time this episode airs. Yeah, everyone's fucking loving that. Yeah. But I guess like some news that is more industry driven is the whole uh, Funimation and Crunchyroll thing, right? Got bought yeah, out by so Sony. Got bought Sony, out Big Sony. Sony. Sony buying out Crunchyroll. And yeah. basically having uh, control of like most of the big anime the companies. Basically in just monopolize the Western market. I mean, it is, it is slightly worrying. <laughs> from an art, art when you hear that initially. Right? Yeah, like, yeah. That's a lot of market share that Sony has. Yeah. yeah. Like how would, at what, at what point would it be considered a Sony, like I guess a monopoly if they had like Netflix. Right? Yeah, so I, 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 I feel like if, if they had, Crunchyroll, Funimation, and Netflix, then- Then it would be like- Then it, then it would be like 99%, yeah. right, basically. Well, Cause basically I think the only other company is probably Sentai Filmworks who mm. do High Dive yeah. and- Is High Dive still going? High Dive's still going. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck High Dive, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I guess it's not available outside the US, right? So it's- No, it's available in the UK as well. Is it? Yeah. Fuck, I didn't know that. But I, I, the, the problem with High Dive is that I don't know how many Big like exclusive titles that they have. I mean, how can you compete? Right? Yeah, because because the only the only thing that I've watched like uh, the only big exclusive I've watched out of High Dive is probably Legend of the Galactic Heroes, mm. and that's like that's like oh, a the, fucking the old one. old no the, like the old oh one. the OG so, one. So, oh, like shit. they're the only service that have licensed the OG Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Oh wow! And I feel like I, I don't know other how many other exclusives they have. Outside of that, that I've never used high dive. So yeah, because I, I, I know Made in Abyss. I watched that on Amazon Strike but back I, when that was a thing. Amazon remember, Strike. remember Amazon Strike? Uh, well, Amazon, oh. have, have Amazon stopped buying anime now? Because like I don't know what anime they've, they're getting anymore. Have no, they got they're still no, they're getting. Okay. The problem with Amazon is that they, they can, buy one big show. They want the, like, like last year they had Vinland Saga. Yeah, yeah. and the, but the big problem with Amazon is that they sometimes get big shows. But I they don't know how to market it. I fucking hate 
like watching anime on Amazon because they, I don't know what shows they have half the time. Right, right, right. Like they actually have quite a lot of anime, mm. but nobody knows about this because nobody fucking watches anime on Amazon. Yeah, not to mention that I think just the general problem with Amazon is that they don't know how to market it. Yeah, yeah. Like you find out usually secondhand from someone who's like, oh, I watch Vinland Saga on Amazon. And you're just like, Vinland Saga is Amazon? What the fuck? Uh, oh, I mean, Amazon is Vinland Saga, what the fuck? Yeah. Like actually watching it isn't bad. Like the play is really good. Mm. And I don't know like what fucking conversion they're using, but like, man, it looks crisp as fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. But God damn, is it horrible to use their fucking platform? Yeah, yeah. Holy shit, dude. I'm like, am I renting this shit or am I am I like streaming it? It's yeah, not yeah. clear half the fucking exactly, time. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, I didn't mean to rent Borat. Why am I, why am I watching <laughs> Borat? I try to watch fucking anime. What the fuck, Amazon? <laughs> Like shit. And then also, because now obviously we're using, I'm using Amazon Prime in Japan. Mm. Yeah. Amazon did that fucking pro gamer move of being like, um, yeah, no subtitles for other languages outside of this country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if I want to watch it, I have to buy Prime, which I have in Japan, and Prime in the UK or the US, which is just fucking stupid. Does Prime even work for you here? Like UK Prime work for you here? No, you can't do that. Because it doesn't work for me. No, no, you need to use, you, you have Prime, but it's probably yeah. Japanese Prime, yeah. which doesn't offer any English subtitles. Mm. Yeah. And obviously because they're like, we don't want people going on to other countries and buying stuff, which, which yeah. kind of makes sense. But also why? Like, who cares? Like, <sighs> like it's 2020. I don't know why licensing laws haven't caught up to the fact that it's a global fucking medium right, right. now. If yeah. you're not gonna, if you if you're gonna limit it to one country, people are gonna find a way to, you know, yeah. find other ways to watch it because people are gonna watch it. Whatever happens, like most people, like because I see these threads on like on Reddit where they're like, "Bro, if you buy Netflix now in Turkey, you can get it for like two dollars," and I'm like. But that seems like a lot of fucking effort. <laughs> like, do I really care for yeah. like, that much? To, oh, I'm, to go glad that I, I, I'm glad that if I put all that effort in, I can save a whole $4. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then like, you got to keep using a VPN when you log in yeah. to do that yeah. shit anyway. So you're already paying for the VPN anyway. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, oh, it's not worth the fucking effort, man. Yeah. And like, do I really need this? No, I don't. Who yeah. cares? Like, I'll, I'll just, I just want it in the country that I'm in. I don't have to fuck around with VPNs. Don't make this hard for me. Yeah. yeah. And Amazon obviously made it. They're like, how about, how do we make it as hard as possible. <laughs> Yeah. Like every single so that hour. no one uses. Yeah. It. How do we make it so that you accidentally buy a dildo instead of watching Vinland Saga? Yeah, yeah. That's basically like the Amazon Prime experience. Do we yeah. have any like I guess because there is very little information about the whole like Sony acquisition, right? Yeah, I mean so it's like, st it's still very early days now. Wait, Maylene, how much was it for? How much was because we don't know. How Animation buying or Sony buying Carnation or Sony buying Carnation? Both. 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 So Sony when they bought ninety five. Oh, yeah, that's right. They did do that, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, 143? Yeah. For Funimation. For Funimation. For Crunchyroll, it's around 1.2 billion. Fuck. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't Amazon only like 900 million? When, can, can, uh, can, sorry, can you say, yeah, can yeah, you Twitch, say Twitch, that number Twitch. again? 1.2 1. 1. 1. billion. 1.2 billion dollars? That's, that's more than- GG Crunchyroll. That's, that's, that's more than Amazon bought Twitch, Twitch, for. Twitch for, yeah. Jesus Christ. Wow. Oh my God. The question that I want to know- 143 for Funimation. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. already surprising. But like the, the biggest question I have is like, billion. it's like, all right, cool, Sony, you have all this fucking money, right? To spend on Crunchyroll and Funimation. That's mm -hmm. fine. But in my opinion, it's just like, what are you going to do with it? Is the question. I mean, I guess- Because when, because when I mean, Sony they... back in the day bought the 95% of Funimation or whatever it was, like- mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, they didn't. They didn't really do much with it. Yeah, I haven't seen much of a change from Funimation. I like. I don't know how well Funimation was doing back then. Right. But it it seems like they've just gone gone on business as usual now. Yeah. Um. One point two billion for Crunchyroll just kind of sees how much they're investing in anime, I guess. And yeah. Because they must see the potential in the anime industry to get to like shell out this big of a market. I guess yeah. maybe they're willing to throw that much money because they realize that there is a massive competitor now and that yeah. is Netflix. Yeah, yeah. I mean, know? I guess when you put it into perspective of like Twitch was bought out, but that was like, how many years ago was Twitch bought out by Amazon? <sighs> like 20, probably around the same time that Sony first bought Funimation. No, I mean, it was uh, earlier than that. Was it? I think it was like no. 2016, right? It must've happened, 2015. Really? Yeah, well, but still- When, when did it happen, Mailing? Can you Google it? Yeah. 2014. Okay, to but be still, fair- Twitch was like the fucking big shit back Twitch then. Yeah, so, so Twitch yeah. was 970 million. But I guess Twitch in 2014, 970 million makes sense. Twitch nowadays is probably worth like five, six times. That, oh, right? easily, yeah. Yeah, but that, that was, I, I would say that, you know- Twitch know, at that point. Yeah, is... comparing Crunchyroll now to Twitch back then. Mm. Twitch is still bigger. 
I, I would say. I, I, I would say like Twitch was like a hot property because mm. everyone was expecting YouTube to buy Twitch. I remember back in the day where it was yeah, just like, right. where it was just like, yeah, everyone just, everyone was like, well, Google was going to buy Twitch. That just, that's just a natural move, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And it was a big surprise when Amazon kind of stepped Jeff in. And then Jeff Bezos was like, JK, <laughs> I'm, in, I'm, in. <laughs> I'm gonna step in. <laughs> I mean, that's been great for creators though, that like yeah. That, yeah, that, yeah. That, that happened. But I'm, yeah. I'm curious as to why, Hmm. Do you have any thoughts on my why this might be good or bad for anime fans in general? I, I just, mean, I'd say as a consumer, it would probably be better because yeah. okay, well, for, more money in the in the industry is always better. Well, it's it's not only right. that, but I remember I I would say like the golden age of like anime streaming was. Remember when you could get every anime you could conceivably want to watch on one platform, which was Crunchyroll yeah. back yeah. in the day, right. and then it kind of just like got spread out to you know different streaming companies. I mean, that was inevitable. It was going to happen. It was inevitable. Yeah. yeah. But I, I, yeah, I mean, the biggest thing I find annoying isn't the isn't just the fact that I have to pay for like different streaming companies. It's just the fact that nowadays, when I see it, when I go through the when I go through an anime chart, I literally have no idea which anime is going to be on which platform. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Unless it specifically says like Prime, for yeah. example. Like right? I like I just want to like log on to one service and be like, okay, I just want to. Don't care how much I'm paying for this service. I just want to want to want. I just want to watch all the anime I want to watch yeah. in that one service. Well, it's it's like confusing because I thought uh, Jujutsu Kaisen is that correct? Mm. Yeah, yeah, was on was a Netflix. Mm. No, that was on Crunchyroll. It's on Crunchyroll, but it yeah. is on Netflix. Is it <laughs> in Japan? No, in Japan. Oh, in Japan. So it's really confusing living in Japan because I'm like, wait, who owns what? Because Japan and like, because obviously it's it's pretty much Japan rest of the world. That's how like yeah, the yeah, yeah. market works, right? Obviously, yeah. and it was really confusing. So I'm like, wait. Wait, where do I watch it though? <laughs> like, yeah. I realized Netflix doesn't offer English subtitles, yeah. probably for that reason with yeah. the licensing, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Fuck, it's a mess though. It yeah, is a mess. Yeah. It's like, how do I how do I know where the fuck I'm watching what? <laughs> and then everyone's just laughing, being like, haha, piracy, you know, like yeah, TVXD. Of course. But yeah. I mean, I want to pay. I want an easy service. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I want a convenient service. Yeah. I like, I, I, I'm willing to pay for a convenient service, which for the longest time it was until it wasn't. Um, and now it's like, I, you know, I want to support the industry, but at the same time, it's just like, if, if I'm having trouble finding which service has got which anime, mm. like I literally have to, let's, there, there is a dedicated search engine for this, mm. which is like, I think the name is like Because Moe or something. That's the oh. name of like the website. Right. But that's, that's literally a dedicated search engine to search which anime is, is on which streaming service. I love that someone had to make that. Yeah, I know, you know right? Like, that know. really is telling. It's, it's like this fucking pre-order, like <laughs> like a spreadsheet, for like what you <laughs> yeah. get in what pre-order. It's yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah. fucking know what's on what. <laughs> Fuck me. Well then would you say then in that instance that I guess like a, a full monopoly of the Western market onto one service is a benefit? I mean, it's not the monopoly though, is it really? Because Netflix is- Right, but that's what I'm saying though. Like if yeah. for example- no, Monopoly's always bad. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. But for example, if Sony hypothetically is like, hey, we want to like buy the anime side of things from the Netflix's mm, thing, yeah. right? That would truly, I would say, turn it into a monopoly, at that, least in that, terms of the Western market. That, 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 would, that would basically be a monopoly. At right. That point, That'd be right? awful for anime fans. Yeah, yeah, it would be awful for anime fans, but at the same logic that Gaunt was saying, it would all be on one platform too. I mean, that that's kind of like the, kind of like the fucking Disney argument now, isn't it? Right. Like, yes, all, all my characters now are g gonna be in the MCU. Yeah. Yay for Monopoly, right? <laughs> you know, oh because, my God. because I, right? It's <laughs> like with with the whole Disney shit. It's worrying because if everything's on fucking Disney, we only get Disney esque products, right? right? Yeah. I don't want fucking Disney shit. All the, I fucking hate Disney. That, that remind me of uh, the other day when I was streaming. I don't know how true this is, so take this with a grain of salt. But somebody yeah. was saying that there's a rumor that Disney might be acquiring Shonen Jump. Oh my God, no. Please no, no. please no. no. Seriously? I don't, know how, where, where, I don't know how true that is. Fact check this, Maylene. Yeah, please, can you can you fact check this? Fact because, check. Because he sounded pretty fucking convincing when someone, like people in the chat were talking about it. But it's, apparently Disney oh, is thinking to acquire no. it because they want to do a collaborative thing between My Hero Academia and the MCU. No. no, and I'm just and in my head. That's, uh, that's got to be a fucking troll. Yeah, post. if it is no a troll, way. then that's if be it is a troll, troll like a meme. Yeah, if it is a troll, then I've fallen for the bait. <laughs> but at, at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised if Disney actually wanted I, to do that. I, the, oh, dude, I cannot stand. Well, Disney. because like, think about it. It's like MCU superheroes. My Hero, My Hero Academia, Academia, superheroes. <laughs> it's a match made in heaven, according to Disney, right? Bro, I can't wait for when like fucking All Might shows up in Avengers 5 or something yeah. like that. <laughs> oh my God. You don't see it? All right, Joe's yeah. bullshitting, Joe's bullshitting. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my okay. God, you know what that would mean though? 
the fucking like Thanos versus Goku memes would like become <laughs> real <laughs> and become like a legitimate talking it would, point. It would be horrible for like a realistic standpoint, but my God, <laughs> the amount win? of Saitama. shit posts and memes that would come out of this would be fucking epic. Again, like take it with a grain of salt. It might be a troll. It might Joey's just be a talking rumor. Out of his ass. I might be talking out of my ass. You I don't are. know. That I, just means like every MCU conversation would, would end with, but Goku could be, yeah, but <laughs> Goku could be Captain America. <laughs> But could Goku beat HIV? That's the <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I can't, I don't really like the way Disney does things mm. with properties. Mm -hmm. And it's worrying that they're acquiring so much. Right. Yeah. Uh, that they have so much control over things because yeah, a Disney movie is streamlined and it's nice, but you don't, you don't get the weird shit from Disney. Right. You but that's what I'm saying. Like, shit. that's what I'm saying. Like when I, when I heard about that supposed rumor or bullshit, whatever it was, like I wasn't like immediately, oh, that's bullshit. That's never going to happen because yeah. there is a very likely chance it very much might happen. Yeah. And if it does happen, then it's gonna be really bad for anime. Like anime is gonna get fucking boring when that yeah. happens. I mean, well, what I was saying now is that, so like we can basically break down like the main plays to be Crunchyroll Funimation, Netflix of like Crunchyroll Funimation and Netflix. And yeah. you know, there's, you know, Sentai Filmworks doing, doing their own thing. Yeah. But I will say that the putting those two together, like they do have very different brands. Mm. Like there's, you, you know, sometimes you watch an anime and you're like, yeah, this seems, this feels like a Netflix show. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Beastars felt like it belonged to Netflix. Yeah. Mm. Devilman Crybaby felt like it belonged to Netflix. Mm. What I would say when it was like Crunchyroll versus Funimation is that they have like the exact same branding. Yeah. So I'm just like, oh, Kaguya's, Kaguya Summer's on Crunchyroll, then on Funimation, like what, like season two's on Funimation. Like I, you know, cause like they were both trying to, uh, acquire the same shows. It's, it's it's the same type of consumers, I feel, that use both Funimation yeah. and Crunchyroll. And, you know, not to say that Crunchyroll users don't use Netflix and vice versa, but I feel that like, yeah, as you said, there's like a certain, I don't know what the right word for it is, edginess <laughs> when it comes to shows on Netflix. I don't, I don't know. I don't, know, the, I don't know what the right word for it is. Netflix is that that cooler older brother who comes in and is like, "Hey, you ever played a Game Boy?" Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? <laughs> That's like that. That you know what I mean? Like yeah. that vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, we've obviously yeah. we've obviously done work with Netflix, so we're, you know, yeah, we're, yeah. But, but this is totally like separated from from mm. that. But I mean, that's that that service is the best, man. Like, I mean, you you. I mean, obviously, the Netflix jail stuff fucking sucks. Mm. Yeah. And sometimes, at least in Japan, the subtitle differences are, again, as we obviously know. Right, right, right. Yeah. That sucks. But I mean, you use that player, and it's like you can't beat that shit. No, no. You can no. download it, and now you can do audio only on uh on the mobile, yeah. which I love. Yeah. Because you used to have to keep when I used to listen to stuff on Netflix, I used to have to keep my phone open in my pocket, mm -hmm. like the screen going. Yeah. yeah. But now you can just do audio only. And it's like, oh my God, it's like, they know what I fucking want but before what, what, I do okay, it. Okay, but that, the question is then, what would you watch? What kind of content would work for audio only stuff? Like documentaries? It's not about that. It's just, just like, sometimes right, I'm, I'm like, I'm in a situation where- I, I couldn't do that for anime, honestly. No, I'm in a situation where I can't look at my screen for like just two minutes. Yeah. But cause I'm like, maybe I'm getting off the train. Maybe I'm walking around real quick. I just want to, I just want to lock my phone, but I want to keep listening. It's got my headphones on. Mm. Like, I get you. So it's just it's, quick it's, little moments where you just want to turn it off, but you don't want like content yeah. to just stop. Right, yeah, right, right. right. I, honestly, the big thing for me for Netflix is uh, the skip opening button. Skip opening. Yeah. They've also just added the two times speed, 1.5. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, so now you can, for, if you want to be a bastard and watch anime, yeah. two times speed. <laughs> I, I know it's a fucking cardinal sin to say you could skip opening anime openings, but that that's that's made it so much more easier to watch some of the anime. Because let's be honest, let's be honest. But, but yeah. they do it automatically for endings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, can yeah. physically tell them, no, no, don't. Yeah. Because every time the Great Pretender ended, I'm like, no, no, let me listen. Yeah. <laughs> I love this song. No, I fucking love no, this. No, no, no. Sometimes you do watch the ending, and sometimes you do listen to the opening. Yeah. But let's be honest, most of the time you skip. The, you want to skip the opening. You watch the opening once, and it's another generic J. -pop like you're, especially if binge. you're like binge, yeah. it's a binge. Yeah. Yeah. and I love binging anime. Like yeah. I, I don't watch anime weekly, so for me, like unless it's a fucking banger of an opening, which is there's always one or two shows every season, yeah. but it's not every fucking. For me, show. like Beastars was one. Like I yeah. always fucking listen to the Beastars, Beastars opening. Fucking amazing yeah. opening, Mob Psycho. I'm just as like, well. no, 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 don't skip it. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll just leave it. Just leave it, Netflix. Come on, just, just let it play. Yeah, just come let it play. on. I want to watch this. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah, like like you said, like uh, the Great Pretender ending, which is like of. You've, you've always got time for Freddie Mercury. Yeah, of course. Come on, you've always got time. Never skip Freddie Mercury. What time is it? I've got time, regardless. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, and, and you can download episodes. I know you can do that on Crunchyroll now, I think. If you pay I, extra. You can do, you can pay extra to download on Crunchyroll. I have never tried it, so I've I don't know how either. good the yeah. service is. 
Um, cause I know you could do it on Funimation, but it didn't work that good. I mean, that was like always the biggest complaint with Funimation, right? Is that the, yeah. the website was garbage. Mm. Yeah. As far as I, I mean, I didn't know I can't use it. Don't live in the US. Yeah. <laughs> what do you, yeah. what do you, what do you think the plan is with Sony? Like, why do you think they decided? That's a good uh, question. I have no that, fucking that's, idea. Uh, that's what I've always wanted to know again, right? It's like, what what is it about Crunchyroll and Funimation that Sony was like? I mean, Sony. We'll Sony, drop a billion bucks on this. Sony has a movie division. That's right. pretty. I mm-hmm. think a big branch, a big part of that business. So yeah. do you, do you think we'll start to see like maybe like funding Sony original anime on Crunchyroll and Funimation? Nice maybe? maybe maybe I don't know. Like, maybe because they have to compete with Netflix originals, right? Yeah, I mean, right now, I mean, Sony kind of Sony are already on like the production committee to, to a lot of anime, yeah. including like big animes. Like I, th- I think, isn't it like the Demon Slayer? Oh uh, yeah, they I think they funded be. Demon Slayer because that's no Aniplex, idea. right? Yeah. I, I, actually, yeah, I, 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 might, I might be talking wait, out my wait, ass which, here. Yeah, which, which, the, the, which company does, does Sony own? Is it Aniplex? Aniplex, yeah. Yeah, Sony owns Aniplex. Oh, Aniplex is a lot of, I, I'm of pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure Aniplex was with Demon Slayer. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're usually with like the majority of the big shonen. I mean, then it only makes sense that they'd want to get a big grip on the Western market. I mean, if you're if you're funding this shit, you already have a lot of sales. Mm. Right? I mean, I I think right now I don't know what their plans are, but I think the amount of money they threw at it just shows how much potential they see for the anime market, right? Yeah, for real. I mean, it's it's a gold rush right now. I think really, like I think all the companies are vibe, like fighting to get control over the Western market because they realize like this shit's big. It's it's like an IP race, right? Just right, to yeah. see yeah, how many yeah. IPs they can grab. I essentially, mean, it, while it's still young and it still hasn't fully settled, right? Mm. Which is now, like, why wouldn't you just fucking throw money at the shit and try and get your, you know, your, get, get all the IPs, get all the, sure, the foundations. Sure. I mean, do you, do you see like anime becoming as big as say like gaming or like other yeah, things in I a do. few years? I do. Yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe not like hentai, but yeah, maybe, maybe not. Hey man, a- hey man. You just wait, you yeah. just wait, boy. You, you just, just wait. wait, you just wait. You just wait till I drop my original hentai and then we'll, <laughs> we'll see how big it gets. I'm yeah, but listen, listen, right? There's, 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 everyone watches porn, right? Yeah. But there isn't no like Avengers of porn. No one's discussing <laughs> like, there's no podcasts about porn. I don't think actually maybe there is, you know, yeah. there's no, there's no big discussions about porn and like, oh my God, what's, What's who, you know, who's ex, who's Johnny Sins gonna fuck yeah. next? Johnny, on the Johnny next Sins is the Captain America of porn. <laughs> like there's, no, there's not gonna be that God. Get your hopes down now, all right? I mean, I don't know, man. Isn't like Pornhub one of, what, what, like in like the top 20 most Well, they just gutted sites. their library. They, yeah, they just destroyed like 60% of their library. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by EJ Anime Store. Do you know what EJ stands for? And same in Japan. Kalakawa's official online anime merch store that delivers exclusive merch to overseas anime fans directly from Japan. Some of their products are only available for a limited time period. So be sure to check the Come pre-order on. deadline on. shown on screen for each item. So what have we got today? The first figure is the ReZero Petra Late Tea Party version. This figure includes an exclusive bonus, gentlemen. A letter written by the author of Re Zero Light. Oh, Nagatsuki Sensei. Personal Tate. letter? Just to you. Thank wow. you, Nagatsuki Sensei. Petra, who newly joins the Russell Mansion in Re Zero Season 2. There's also the Maiden in Abyss Nanachi plushie. This thing's actually really fucking cute. I want it. Additionally, today, we have a bit of a special introduction. As some of you may know, over the span of three days at the end of November, we released a series of streams on each of our Twitch channels as a part of a speedrun competition in which we had to put together one of the EJ Anime Store plastic model kits, which is this box here. And we had to see who could do it the fastest. Also known as the Sword Art Online Figure Rise Standard Asuna Dengiki Pole Color Limited Version. I said that in one take. Let's oh go. Oh my god. And if you've already watched the streams, <laughs> you already know who won and lost. Absolutely getting destroyed. I thought I was fast, and then Connor was like, no, 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 no. Hold up. <laughs> Hold it. Okay, so I didn't know this before, <laughs> but we have a forfeit that the loser had to do. And Maylin is about to present to me I've my seen forfeit. It. I've seen it and it's gross. <laughs> so that's a oh, that black stinks. It's a black cobra Maylin, chili. What the fuck no, did you chili. buy for oh, me? Not? What is this, Maylin? Oh, that's a black cobra chili. Yeah, that is a black cobra yes. chili. Maylin, right this there. is not what we agreed to. <laughs> what is this thing? Why do we? What is the giant water bug? Well, <laughs> well that's you. You should have. You should have gotten I'm good. I'm not gonna fucking forget this. <laughs> this is Maylin's idea, by the way. It wasn't our idea. Look. <laughs> Look at this shit! Look at oh fuck it's fucking oh. <laughs> it's so oh it just flipped over. Can you can you hold on up to the camera, Joe? Yeah. That's oh, disgusting. Yeah. That's I can't I, I would not want to eat that. Good luck, Gon. So while Gon enjoys on his fantastic meal for the evening, EJ Anime Store will be giving away one lucky winner, an Asuna figure set with a wall scroll signed by the three of us for free. Oh shit, look at that! What? That's Pog. It's got our signatures on it. I look, have to act look, excited now. Look, it's the loser's signature. 
Oh yeah, right in the corner. All you simply have to do, guys, is follow their Twitter at EJ Anime Store, like and retweet their tweet that contains the <laughs> TT Asuna speed run, and then retweet the post. It literally smells like swamp. To this is this is what it, I was trying to figure out what this smells it, like. You know what it smells like? It smells like licorice. And once you do all that, you will have the chance to win the Asuna plastic model with the signed wall scroll, okay. gentlemen. Uh, uh, <laughs> wait, wait, say, say that again. So, so how do you eat this man? So, so you tear off its head. You want me to do it for you? Yeah, yeah. You tear off its head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. And then you take off its wings. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then you- Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna fucking puke. Just, what the <laughs> You just give it a suck and that's it. Just, what the fuck is just, that? Just give it that good suck. Wait, can I smell it? Ooh, that's strong, isn't it? <laughs> so if you missed the stream, watch the archive on our Twitch channels as a reference to build your own model. Both the regular version and the special bonus wall scroll set will be available on the EJ Anime Store website. So check the links in the description to speed run it yourself. Please try and beat our times. How is it, God? How does it take? He just spit it out. He has the worst fucking after- I need some. Give me, give me this G fuel, man. Wait, do you want to? That do you wanna, disgusting. Do you want to eat the uh, the cobra chili instead? There you go. Eat that. <laughs> I'm fucking dying. What the fuck? That's what. Why you get, did I just do that? That's what you I, get for moseying around in a speed run. Oh I God, wanted to I get. Can, like, I honestly, can smell the chili from here. Honestly, yeah. the chili is like a fucking breath of fresh air compared to what I tasted. My mouth is on fucking fire right now, but it feels better than that fucking water bug, man. I don't know. I don't know why, but I like kind of want to try it. Am I allowed to just try it? Yeah. Oh, hey, Connor, there's one for you as well. Do you want? Oh, one? I'm okay. I'm okay. I, Wait. I so what you do? You rip off the head. Rip off the head. Take out the wings. So wait, what is this used for? What is this? This fucking thing. Food. Oh god, that's very juicy. Yeah. Uh, it's like it's like salty. Oh god, look at that. I don't I don't want to look at that. Don't show me. Don't pry its asshole open in front of me. Wait, let me try. Oh god, Joey. It it literally tastes like salty swamp. That's 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 literally what it like. <laughs> <laughs> Did you spit it out? Why did you spit it out? Hmm? I, in, oh, in the okay. Starbucks. I just go. swallowed it. You want a pudding? Yeah. Actually, you know what? You, uh. <laughs> well, thank you, EJ Anime Store, for sponsoring this episode of the podcast. Uh, back, fuck you, Maylin. Back to fuck the episode. You. Back to fuck the episode. you. Oh. All right, I'm fucking bored talking about anime. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck anime. We're Joe. not even an anime podcast anymore. <laughs> Imagine talking about anime on trash Listen, face, guys. Ew. I, I feel like I, I'm, I'm attempting to be the Winnie the Pooh meme, like the the, the, the like high class one when I talk about anime. I'm trying to right. form opinions. I don't have opinions, Joey. I don't have well formed- I just watched that shit. I don't, I don't have well formed opinions about things. I, I just, what do you think we I mean, do? I just say what I feel, okay? I mean, you don't have well formed opinions about anything. Fuck off. God. So like, Fuck like, off. like re anime, oh. food, gaming, oh, like let's no. be honest here. Let's be honest here. I went on a little rant on my stream the other day, just being like, gone is actually like your parents didn't beat you enough because <laughs> like, <laughs> because right. Listen, he was allowed to get away with not eating crusts, right? My, if I didn't eat my crusts. Oh, I think I saw you talking yeah. about that. If I didn't eat my crusts, right? You know what my parents would do? They'd be like, that's fine, Connor. You have dinner ready for tomorrow now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd be like, what? Well, but mom, I I don't want them. She's like, no, Connie, you're eating fucking crust. You're not who, wasting food. Who says that I didn't get my ass beat for not eating my crust? Did you? No. Did you okay. Were you no, like no, fucking no. Spartacus? No, no, no. Like, no, no. mother, I will not bow because, to the crust. Because I had gone my entire fucking childhood having to like being forced to eat my crust. So as soon as I was a fully grown <laughs> adult who can make my own fucking decisions, I'm, I'm gonna be, I was, I was, I was like, Mother, I do not care what you think anymore. I'm going to not eat my crust. I pay I, my own rent. I, I pay my own bills. I buy my own food. Fuck you, mother. I'm saying, she sh all I'm saying is you should have got the backhand a little bit more. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 it should have been a little harder. <laughs> <laughs> there, 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 there That's is, such a bad joke. I'm there, so sorry. There, there is there is something that like I didn't fully appreciate as a kid or like I didn't fully- Cross. Like, no, right. not crust. <laughs> good food. Not crust, but like- We're not I, getting into food, by the way. But we're we're, not, we're not getting into food again, but like I was yesterday, I was fucking cleaning the house mm. and mm. I fucking hate cleaning the house. <laughs> I don't think anyone in their entire life likes cleaning the house. And I didn't realize why my parents 
fucking basically just every parent manipulates their kids to be like their personal slave. Do my job slave. When, when it comes to like cleaning the house. Yeah. Well, that's that's the reason why they used to have so many kids, right? It was like, they got to <laughs> plow the fields, yeah. right? I, I intend to keep that British philosophy alive when I have a kid. It's he like needs, seven he kids. Needs, <laughs> he needs to plow the fields and clean the house and prepare yeah. the food. Yeah, Connor's, <laughs> Connor's gonna like min max that shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, all yeah, right, yeah. my house has uh, six rooms. So that's six children I need to have at least. <laughs> One per room. I'm not. I'm not going to beat my kids. By the way, that was a distasteful joke. Just saying that now. Yeah, because like, why is the why is the like activity of cleaning just so awful? Like, it, 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 <laughs> like, does anyone who is who actually enjoys okay. cleaning the house? When you do it, when you have it, like. You get rid of a lot of dirt, mm. right? That's why I let it. I let it build up. I, I let it get like gross. Because right, right. when you clean that shit, it's like peeling off a good scab. All right. It's like, oh, oh, it's so clean. You know yeah, but I, mean? I need to see like a physical layer of dust yeah, yeah, in yeah. order for me to be like, yes. Dude, when you swipe a whole layer of dust off with like a wet wipe or yeah. something, damn, that yeah. feels good. That takes that. I, shit I get like right a quarter chub at least. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I don't like cleaning. This no, 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 because like, yeah, that, that is a satisfying feeling. But my problem is that cleaning just shit. Like I never knew as a kid, how much fucking time and effort it takes to mm. clean. Oh, like, yeah. you, like, because, okay, when you're a kid, you just clean your own fucking room. You hoover yeah. the lip, you hoover the lip. I didn't room. even do that. Or whatever. <laughs> oh, oh you, you lucky motherfucker. Yeah. You lucky like, motherfucker. I would, I would, but then five <laughs> minutes later, be back to where it was. So my parents are just like, whatever. Like I still have fucking Vietnam flashbacks of my mom calling me. Like, I know she's about to ask me to hoover the living room. <laughs> I know it. I I fucking, I don't want to come down right now. This Thai man having Vietnam flashback. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, the, like I realized as an adult, the act of cleaning just like, it takes you all day. Yeah. And like, the reason I hate it is because it feels like, you know, you know when you do something productive, like you, you do you do like a hard day of work or something, mm, mm. or like even playing a video game, you feel like you're making progress with your life. I don't know you, about the video game <laughs> thing, but- No, no, like, like, like where, you know, when, when, like for me, whenever I'm playing like a first person game, like a single player game, right, you're like right, making right. progress with the story. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, something, something uh, like that. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> this, like, this like, like a JRPG, right? This, yeah, 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 they're yeah. like a JRPG. Yeah, I feel you, I feel you. Like, yeah, I love with, wasting my time. With cleaning, like the whole, the entire concept of cleaning is that, you you're working towards making things zero again. You're working towards zero. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're working. You're working towards making things normal again. Oh, oh, oh what happened? Oh, it switched off. Sorry, uh, oh. Joey. Joey, uh, <laughs> laptop is shit. But yeah, you're working towards towards making the default state state zero again. Right. And I'm just like, this doesn't feel good. Yet it takes so much time and energy to do it. Yeah. And no one prepared for. No one prepared this it's, for it's, me it's as like, a kid. It's like shoveling snow in a blizzard, right? Yeah, it's like, right, it's, like right? it's gonna it's gonna form back up again. So it's like, what's the point? I yeah. mean, I only used to clean. I'm like, like this is how I would I would I would decide if I'm gonna clean this day. Right. Is somebody coming to my house? No, I'm not cleaning. <laughs> is somebody <laughs> that, coming? That, to that, my, that is still my state. Yeah. Is yeah. somebody coming to my house? Fine, I'll clean. Yeah. You know what the the best adult purchase I ever made was in the what? UK? What? It was a good vacuum. I was like, you know what? What's all this hype around those Dyson things? Like, yeah. what's, what is all that yeah. hype? Because I, I lived with a friend. It's a brand. Yeah, I lived with a guy and his dad worked for the Henry Henry Hoovers. Yeah, you know right. those like the fucking ones with the <laughs> smiley face? The, 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 yeah, yeah, the yeah, little yeah. smiley face? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if these are in America, but they're, they're, they're everywhere in the UK. Right. And these things are like tanks. They don't die, mm. but they also kind of suck. Yeah, they don't right. suck good. They should be sucking good. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck this guy in my house. I was like, I, I wanted to get a Dyson. And he was like, no, 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 like, no, no. All you need is this thing. And he's like fucking slaps it. He's like, it's a fucking unit. This thing is. And I, I, I broke it within like two weeks. Right. Uh, yeah, that's, I mean, that's my own fault. What the fuck yeah, did I mean, you like, suck up? <laughs> <Water>. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll do it. I was like, oh no, I have to get a new one. Oh no, oh, there's no. a puddle, quick, grab the Hoover. Oh no, I have to get a new, a new vacuum, <laughs> fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> so I bought a Dyson, dude. That shit like cleaned up. Like it could have. Oh my god, a carpet was a different color. I was like, what have I been doing my whole yeah, life? Yeah, yeah. And then no, like, I, I never believed in that Dyson shit too until I bought one like a couple of years bro, ago. I was it like, changes let's, the game. let's see how good these are. And yeah. I do. I was like, all right, not buying anything else anymore. You like took, this, you this is the that one shit thing. up to like max suck and yeah. like, oh my god, dude. it gives the good <laughs> the suck. Shit, the max, shit, the max, max suck. suck. Okay, here's how I could. Okay, you know, this Dyson has all this bullshit about rotating fucking things like 10 cylinders. It's a lot of shit. Let me say why it's good, right? Yeah. You know that one piece that always sticks to the fucking carpet that yeah, doesn't yeah, come yeah. off? Dyson never has an issue getting that one crumb out of the yeah, carpet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit always comes out because the normal vacuums, they don't get that shit out. 
Like no. there's always that one fucking thing that for some reason won't come out. You got to fucking- It's just like clinging onto the carpet yeah, and, then, and, then, and then you're like, how many how many rollovers am I going to do this thing until I just admit defeat, bend over, pull it out of the carpet yeah. like an animal and feed it into the vacuum like it's some budget dog. I'm like, here you go, here you go, come on, take a <laughs> I don't like doing that. Yeah, I yeah. don't want to do that. I'm not yeah. a peasant. I shouldn't have to touch my carpet <laughs> with my hands. That's disgusting. Okay. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's how I can sell it to you. You will never have to bend over. You'll never have to bend. You'll never have to bend to the knee. Yeah, it, dude, it's amazing, dude. And I, that was like my gift to my parents when I went to Japan. Because obviously I couldn't bring it with me. Right. So I was like, parents, you can have my prized possession. Here is a vacuum. Is a vacuum. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like bending over, like giving him like the sword of Camelot. Like fucking here you go, brother. <laughs> take it. Take my Dyson V12 Max Suck Edition. <laughs> like. To be fair, she thought it was all nonsense, but she tried it. She was like, all right, Connor, this is a pretty fucking good gift. Yeah, okay. like, she, was, she was converted. You're welcome, yeah. She was mom. converted. Which is like, like the biggest reason I don't cook or like I don't like cooking is because cooking, like I like cooking. Cooking's great. I like the food. Cleaning up, man. It, it's like the, the, the ratio of time it takes to clean up versus mm. eating good food, nice nice mm, home cooked yeah. food. It just it just doesn't it's it's not optimal. It's it's so sub optimized. The entire like the entire activity of cleaning is just sub optimized in life. You've become like me, I swear recently. No, no, no. You're caring no, about no. like the splits, <laughs> no, the efficiency. No, no. <laughs> like I've because like, cleaning for me has always been sub optimal. Like yeah. I, I don't know why this is the one activity in life that it's just like this needs to be balanced. There there needs mm. to be like a balanced patch in life that just makes cleaning less effort. It, it's like doing a twenty minute side quest to get to a two minute main quest. You yeah, know? because it's it, like, it, it just it, it just doesn't make sense. It takes more like it's a side quest that takes more time and energy than the fucking main quest. <laughs> you finish cleaning and you're like, all right, time to get down to work. It's like cool. Right. I'm glad I spent thirty minutes cooking this thing that took me two minutes to eat. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, exactly, I, exactly right. I ordered a lot of Uber Eats, obviously. Yeah. And uh, I, I caved and in Japan, they have an Uber Eats pass where you can, if you uh, pay $9 a month, you get free delivery fee. Right. So there's no delivery fee, which right, is like right. two bucks each time. Yeah. And I was like, fuck dude, am I really ordering this much fucking takeout? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah. And then I did it in my head, right? I, I, I did this thing where like for three, for three times when I cooked, I timed yeah. it. I like I didn't I didn't speed run it or anything. I wasn't I wasn't doing splits or anything. I wasn't like it's Benedict's eighty yeah, percent. I'm like, I'm like <laughs> this is the onion split. Bro, I got a gold onion split. No, I wasn't doing that. I just had a timer and I timed genuinely how long it took, uh, right? Yeah. And then I I timed cleaning up, right? Yeah. Because I wanted to know, based on my average earnings for a month, <laughs> right? I, is this technically? Am I losing money? By, by cooking myself. Right, right, right. Because I was like, this is how I can scientifically justify to myself ordering takeout. Right, right. Right? So I split it up, right? I did the average, no, I know you're, I know this would be fucking, I knew you guys would fucking laugh at me for this. <laughs> this is just hilarious that you went this to this effort. Brain. This is big brain. All right, do well, it yourself, right? Go home now. No, I don't have to, because you've done it for us. Right? That, I do not enjoy cooking. Right. right, so that that whole factor of enjoyment is gone. Yeah. I don't like that's not a factor in my decision. Right. But do you enjoy, do, you, do you enjoy the end result? No, I enjoy Uber Eats more, <laughs> bro. You no, you, no. The, there is something about a home cooked meal. Okay, I, there, don't, I don't know what it is because okay, be you can cook it exactly the way you yeah, want. Yeah, there's, it there's, there's a charm about a home cooked meal if you yeah. know how to cook. Yeah. So so my cooking is, <laughs> my cooking is me. If you don't, then it's just like punishment. You should try sometime. No, Jerry. no. no just, I'm just, good. just tell Aki to be like, yo. I only just, make like. Curry and Mexican. That's all I made, right? <laughs> right. Which is also, honestly, it's all you yeah. need in my book. Right. right? right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So Mexican food, I, I can't really like make enough to store, mm. it, like because it's really fucking expensive the ingredients as yeah, well here. Yeah. yeah. But curry, I can normally make like enough for like six meals, right. and that's just pretty nice because yeah. then that that, that yeah. like the time versus like money effort is fine. But I don't cook yeah. anything else because when I did this thing, I found out that I was like wasting if you did the time to money conversion on my earnings to like, like it was like it was like 40 percent less efficient to cook my own meals got like a fucking spreadsheet yeah. I did, <laughs> because it was driving me insane because i was speaking to some people who are like those fucking entrepreneur people they're like i never cook or clean my own thing i hire a maid i i, I get uber eats i don't do any of that shit yeah. it's a waste of time i'm on that grind 24 yeah. 7. in reality i would like an extra hour to play video games i'm not gonna lie <laughs> because in my life an extra hour to play video games is quite a lot of time yeah, yeah. yeah. so if i can get an extra hour playing video games and and then I can then later on spend an extra hour working. It's like, okay, it makes sense to just get Uber Eats. Yeah, yeah. Is this just, is this just Connor the podcast trying to justify his spending? Is no, that no, what no, this no. is? I, I I is this rich it? people problem? Yeah. I'm kidding, I'm joking. It's just... entrepreneur problems. <laughs> no, I completely- no, I mean, I mean, this is this is why we became fucking entrepreneurs, right? Yeah. I've never fucking enjoyed cleaning in my life. No. I never will enjoy cleaning. And- You know, you yeah. know what's the only like, I guess like housework quote unquote that mm. I really enjoy? Mm. Yeah. Doing the laundry. 
I, okay, laundry is nice. Yeah. Laundry, there's something about laundry. something about laundry. Hits, I really like it. It's like, it, it's just like, I just put some music on. I'm outside. But you feel like clean. A, you feel yeah, clean. Yeah, usually it's like a nice day and I'm just hanging up my clothes. And I'm just like, hey, you know what? No. Stress Bro, free. Suboptimize. Listen, listen. <laughs> Sub -op that's, this no, is why, no, this no, is no. why Sydney does the laundry. Oh my Thank God. you, Sydney, by the way. <laughs> this is why I get a woman to do it. <laughs> I, 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 I laugh sometimes. I laugh sometimes because like my mom's like, you're going to need to learn how to do the laundry someday. Someday. Mm -hmm. And then Sydney From comes- Asian family. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then Sydney comes along and, and is like, I love laundry. Laundry so relaxing. It is, I'm like, it is. I'm like, good. You, it's, the, it's the whole thing of like the, your school teacher being like, you're, you're, you're not going to carry a calculator with you every day. It's like, <laughs> about that. <laughs> I'm gonna say it, dude. When you when you have fresh sheets, not yeah. only is that sleep the best. Yeah, that's that's the best wank you'll have in like all, all month, dude. <laughs> in fresh sheets, dude. You got to wait. You wank. Wait, wait. Why you, am I disgusting? Wait, me, wait, 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 wait. Time out, time out. That was the what thing, are you? That what was you, sorry. You can say. Are you like wanking onto your sheets? Like, are you like I, jizzing I'm outside? Onto? I'm outside on the fucking. No, I'm kidding. No, when you put them on, it's all fresh. The room smells nice. It yeah. all feels comfortable. You're like, oh, that, time to wank. That, that, <laughs> that was the biggest they had us in the first half I've like yeah. ever had in this podcast. Because I was gonna be like, yeah, I know exactly what you wait. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> what are you? What are you? Are saying? you saying you don't like that? Come on, guys. I don't. I don't I don't, yeah, don't jack off my bed. Okay, so that's well, probably if you have why. sex in it as well, it's also great. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's, yeah. that's, you, you, I mean, that's you, not you, what you, you said though. Yeah, you if said you, fucking yeah, if you would have said that, then we would be like, yes, I agree, Connor. But same thing, same thing, the same climax in the bed, fresh sheets, all same thing, dude. <laughs> no, like I I love fresh sheets. I I hate the process of getting fresh sheets. Like okay, <laughs> okay, like putting on bed sheets. Okay, you've what, seen what? you've seen my setup. <laughs> Wait, wait, what's your setup? Connor, okay, wait. <laughs> Connor, Connor has like, okay, you, you look at Connor's like gaming setup, it's like perfect. Yeah. Everything is like optimized. And then you see his bed and it's like one of those like Reddit reacts to like some of the worst fucking gaming setups you've ever seen. <laughs> it's 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 like it's like a $2 bed setup. Yeah. yeah like- uh, You just have like a fucking towel on your fucking- No, no, so or? it's, there's literally nothing in my bedroom except a, a bed. <laughs> and there's like literally nothing. There's like- Why not? I don't know, it's from my fucking bedroom. I just sleep in there. I don't do anything else in there. That's worth it. Yeah, your bed I mean, frame's you... like broken, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's broken as well. Yeah. Because <laughs> I bought the cheapest one on Amazon when I moved here. Cause, right. Because, you know, moving's expensive, right? Yeah. And it was so expensive that I was like, fuck, I gotta, I gotta cut costs. <laughs> yeah, but and like... I, I regret it because I bought a $200 bed and that was the mattress combined. Yeah. And this shit's fucking awful. All the springs are fucked. The bed's <laughs> like, broke. It's literally. Because like you're talking so much about, like, yeah, why would you buy a $20 headset when you can just buy a $100 one and you get well, your money? Here's the well. thing. Here's the thing. I, I had that philosophy. But again, moving kind of like distorts your your price range. Yeah. yeah because yeah, yeah. you're spending like, you know, I gotta put down like a fucking 4K deposit on this shit. The flights are this much. I had to pay yeah. shipping for my PC. Like I was spending a lot of money. I'm like, fuck, I'm I'm kinda kinda losing a lot of money. Yeah, you know? So yeah. I was like, okay, I gotta start I gotta start saving costs. I can't buy a 10K bed frame. Right, right, right. So right. I bought the cheapest one on Amazon, which I regretted within about two weeks. <laughs> Um, actually, no, immediately when I built it, because building it was a pain in the fucking ass. Yeah. I could tell when I was building it, I'm like, oh no, this isn't even like budget plywood. This is yeah. like the throwaway plywood yeah. that they would use. It's like the foamy plywood. I, 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 I remember seeing the exact bed frame you bought on Amazon and it was like two and a half stars. And that's when I knew that Listen, I, <laughs> I, mistakes it, were made. Yeah. I, I just wanted something and I wanted it now and I regretted it so much. But anyway, what happened was the most ghetto thing that I have mm. is that I'm actually using a bed sheet as like a mattress cover. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. So what happened was, right? How do you stretch that shit over it? Okay, actually with a lot like the fucking power of Zeus. Dude, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, no, nah! like putting this, I'm like pulling the Red Sea back together when I'm putting, <laughs> trying to put these bed sheets. It's a zip, yeah. it goes all around my mattress. Oh, you fucking oh, zipped oh. it around your mattress? Oh, yeah. you like, <laughs> you like put it in? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. You just fucking like condomed your mattress. <laughs> what the fuck I'm, did you do? I'm, I'm like, like fucking Spartacus, right? When he's kicking the guy, I'm like doing that to my mattress every time I wash. <laughs> it. You have, you have to do that every time you wash your mattress as well. Mm, so yeah, you yeah, wash, yeah. wash your bed sheet. I so I wash my bed sheet as well. Yeah, yeah. So, so I, you have to fucking strip this thing out and then wash mm, it and God, then condom so, it back yeah, yeah. in. I feel because, so sorry for your bed sheet, man. Yeah, it's very stretched. So what happened? Okay, but also I do avoid that annoying thing. This mm. is very like this is like the only plus in this. Now I've gone mm. to the many negatives. Yeah. The only plus, right, is that you know that fucking annoying thing when you're sleeping and the bed sheet comes off in the corner. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, you, yeah. you can never get it like back on unless you actually get off the bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I fucking hate that. That yeah, sucks. Never yeah. have that issue. That, because that's... the entire thing is wrapped up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's zipped up around it. I, no, no, I, I, I can see like the benefits of it because like the the 
the best bed sheets are the ones that are like firm. super tight. Firm. They're firm. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. I see wrinkles on that shit, that's oh. that's such a, that's like instant. You instant know it's shit too, because sometimes you'll wake up and on your body, you'll like have like imprints. Oh, yeah. I hate that. Oh, man, I'm just like, yeah. oh, what the fuck is that? Yeah. Instant yeah. softy so right I, there, man. I do have a backup bed sheet, which is actually like proper, but yeah. I refuse to use it unless right. I'm desperate because I love this one. And I like even putting it back you on. You love fucking turning so your mattress into a bean bag. So here's how I ended up with a bed sheet as my duvet and it goes all around my mattress. Right. Like I fully put it all around my mattress and zip it up all yeah, the way yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I moved here, I went to Nitori, which is kind of like Japanese Ikea, which I think we mm. mentioned before. I, I go there, right? So I buy I buy the pillows, the pillow sheets, you know, yeah. I, I, I buy the duvet and I, I go to the staff member and I ask him, and like, I'm making sure I've got Google Translate, man. I'm like duvet or like whatever that's fucking called blanket, whatever. Mm, yeah. I did not say fucking like futon. I did yeah. not say futon. I'm like, I'm showing him. I'm like this. I even showed a picture. I'm like, I want yeah. this. Like a mattress. This part, like this mattress. part <laughs> yeah. which one is this? Then like broken Japanese with Google yeah. Translate. He's like, oh, no problem fam. I got you. Points me to this. I buy it. I get home. What do you think it is? It's a fucking futon. And he saw me buy the futon, another futon. It wasn't yeah. even in the same section as well. So that's why I was confused yeah. when I got home. Cause I'm like, wait, this was in a different section. Why do we have two different futon types? What is this? So I have two fucking futon covers. Yeah. So I have the bed sheet and then I have, yeah, the mattress cover. <laughs> so I, I got home and I, I needed to sleep. So I'm like, well, fuck it. It's going in one way or another. Like it's it's going over my bed. Uh -huh. I think Garnt helped me the first time get yeah. it on. This is a two, two person yeah, mission. That's what I'm trying it, to figure out. Like, like how the fuck do you get that on yourself? So, <laughs> So so I, uh, yeah, I, I, I need, okay. I thought I, I had just- Do you just, like call Gaunt every I, time? I, 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 just, I just assumed <laughs> that you the, got a duvet now. I've, I've mastered the technique of doing it, right? <laughs> I have, okay, here's what I do. To get it off is easy. Cause it, like, it's, yeah. it's like, it's like you're it, letting- It a, wants to get off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's like letting a pig out of clothes. Yeah. It's like, that shit wants to come up. Yeah. Get it back on, right? Okay, first of all, <laughs> here's, the, here's the setup. I flip my mattress to the side, yeah, right? Yeah. So it's upright. Yeah. And then I fucking like pull over half. Yeah. And I flip it upside down the other end, pull it up. And then there's basically yeah. what happens is that it's up up to here, right? So this is long horizontal ways, mm. right? Yeah, yeah. I've got to basically force this shit together. Yeah. Like grab it together and then hold it. And it hurts my hands because it's tight. I gotta like slowly pull a little bit by little bit. And if I let go, it all goes back. So I have to keep grabbing a little bit and zipping, grabbing a little bit and zipping. It's a pain in the fucking ass and I hate it. Why don't you just get a fucking It's like duvet. putting on the world's largest combo. No, 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 dude, that, I, like, mean, that, I think that is the bed sheet. Just get a proper bed sheet. Yeah, just get a proper bed because, sheet. you know what? I love the firmness of it. Like I love how tight it is around just my bed. Just get a fucking bed sheet. At and that just point, you might as well not even have a fucking bed sheet. Why? Why? I like no, 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 no. Like, there's a difference between having no bed sheet and I having a firm like, bed sheet. I sweat like a motherfucker. I need a bed sheet. Right. Yeah. So then just buy a fucking bed. It's like a thousand yen. I don't know. I've kind of gotten like used to it now. <laughs> I kind of like it now. This, though. this, this got, man literally this, this, this man seen. literally made a spreadsheet trying to optimize cooking, and he can't even buy a fucking bed sheet. <laughs> <Meanwhile, Well. laughs> <laughs> because then I got to optimize that. That's another thing I got to optimize. I'm sick of it, man. Well, to be fair, that that whole optimization with the Uber Eats was just a justified to myself yeah. why I can have like pad Thai three times a week. Right, to right. Be honest. So like, like, so like <laughs> I, I, I like I like the final result of cooking and clean fucking bed sheets, but like oh, oh, like having to change your duvet, I, it, like do you, do you find it the most like fiddliest fucking thing ever to like take the duvet off and like putting it back on and having to make sure every every corner is perfectly situated well, see, if you, on if every- you do it, If you have a zipped up one, yeah, every no, no, corner no, no, will no, be. It not, doesn't not, have a choice. Not, not, not the bed sheet, the actual fucking blanket part. Oh, that's easy because the the ones in Japan, big brain, they come with the holes at the end. So yeah. you can just flip it up uh, inside out, grab the thing and then whoosh. Yeah, that's what I always do. You, you could do that? Yeah, no. that's what well, I always wait, do. That's, what? That's what I've done ever since I was so little. So you, you turn it inside out. Yeah, I do the, that. And then you, like, like a little ghost, you put it over you. Yeah, you yeah, you know, no, 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 I do you that. grab the ends of the, the futon yeah. and then you just like, Flip it over and then and yeah, shake and then it the down. Whole, yeah, and then shake and then it down. But like for me, up. like I I I don't know. Isn't that what hotels do? Yeah, because they yeah, got like, yeah, they yeah. got a speed runner. Yeah, so yeah, they do like a yeah. hundred yeah. rooms. Like I don't know if my like because I think I have like my fucking nightmare where my duvet is not the same size as my blanket. It's slightly bigger. <laughs> So I always I have like that. left. I hate so you have like I, a little bit of fabric left. Oh over. my god, it triggers me so much, man. That's I, why I hate the ones. I hate the ones like our old uh, fucking duvet. It was like the perfect size, but yeah. the problem was is that it would the duvet inside would move around. I hate that. Yeah. So like, the, so like one end of the duvet would just have like just fucking scrunched up, just, so that you try and pull it. it over, it's just sheet. And I'm just like, fuck. Where's, where's the fucking duvet go? This is why I think 
you are most likely to have a mental breakdown when you're doing your bed sheets or putting your duvet on. I don't know. I, I, I don't know I, what I, it is. I, 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 that's, that's why I fucking hate it, man. Like, that's why I fucking hate it. I, I don't know what it is about putting sheets on, but when it just doesn't work, you're like, fuck it. I just want to cry and just be like, why won't it work? Why won't it work? Why is my day going I, bad? I, I used to work in like a uh, hotel, like lodges in right. like ski fields and stuff. And I had to do that shit every fucking day. Really? So yeah. So I basically like- so You shovel shit out of the drains and then you gotta go do that? Yeah. yeah. So I had to, I, I, I was That's, basically- That like, sounds like my nightmare. Yeah, man. so like, I, at first I fucking hated it. I was yeah. like, oh, there's- <laughs> And then he came to adopt the yeah, shit. There's, yeah. there's 30 rooms in this hotel. That doesn't seem too bad. Five rooms in, you're like, fuck man, I wanna go home. Like, fuck, like just fucking around with the duvet. It's just like, it's not going in. I have 25 rooms left <laughs> Bro, to do this. I would, actually, I would actually have a mental breakdown if I had to do like five yeah. sheets in like one hour. Yeah. I, I would actually yeah. be like, no, no, I don't think life is for me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not getting paid enough for this I'd shit. Like, I would actually I'd rather, rather, rather fucking shovel shit. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather <laughs> shovel shit and like fucking get shouted at McDonald's than do yeah. five duvets in a row, man. So now I'm just used to it because I've lived through that fucking Vietnam war. Yeah, but because what, what, like- what, what didn't you do at this job, Joey? Jesus Christ. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't work in the kitchen. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, because there is, there's, there's something there's there's something fucking special about hotel duvets and just mm. and just like getting getting in like a hotel bed and just feeling like you're in a fucking straight jacket. I don't know, man. Oh, it's, I, it's, fu it's, no, okay. I fucking I, love that I, feeling. I don't, I don't like when hotels do that. When they fucking- oh, No, yeah, because no. you get in the bed and you're like, what is this? The world's fucking strongest just, man for weight you pulling? You just have to fucking like shimmy yourself into yeah. it. Right? No, I love that feeling. You feel like fucking safe. You yeah, feel covered. No, I, I feel like I'm in a straight I, I, jacket. I feel, I feel, this, is, this is my safe zone right now and no one can fucking touch me. I, I feel like a moth. I feel like a fucking caterpillar who's like about no, to no. fucking- no. <laughs> Okay, what about, okay, I hate it when they took like half the fucking duvet under the front of the yeah, bed. Yeah, yeah. So you get in it and it's like, you're trying to fucking tow a car when you're pulling this shit out. You're like this it's on like, the bed, like <laughs> No, I just, I just like shimmy myself in and I'm just like, ah. I, I, I feel like I'm back in my mom's I, womb. I can't now. even Nothing shimmy can myself. I can't even shimmy myself in. It's like I'm trying to get into pants five times, five sizes too small. It's just like fuck, I can't, fuck, I can't get in. I, I feel bad as well when they put a lot of like they put like a cloth on the bed, like a little like a, I don't know, like that shit they put on the front of the bed. I'm like, get rid of that, get that fucking out of here. Oh, the the thing like at it's the like end, like a linen thing or something. I don't know what it is. You like know a, what that's for? What is that for? It's for uh, apparently it's an American thing. Apparently it's so that you can wear shoes on the bed. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm about to leave yeah. right now. So like, so like you've probably seen it before, like in hotels where there's just like this one weird, like fucking tablecloth size. Yeah, I hate that thing. At the end of the bed, right? That's yeah. for shoes? That's for shoes. But they do that in Japanese hotels where you have to take your shoes off at the front. Yeah, I d that's Why? what I don't understand. Why? <laughs> I okay, understand okay, in American okay. hotels. As, as the only white, as the only white person here. No, 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 <laughs> don't as, put as, this on me. As, as the only, I, I, I need, I need I your was opinion. raised correctly. <laughs> Shoes on sofas and beds. No, it could. Does, does, does that trigger you as it should? Yes, yes, of course. My parents would, would hit me if I did that. Are you kidding me? I've never understood. I always thought, you know, when you'd watch like The Simpsons or like American like yeah. TV shows or whatever, how they would take their shoes off before going to bed. It's just, like uh, like yeah. where, where they would like keep their shoes on the side of the bed. And then when they wake up, the first thing they would do is put shoes on. I just thought that was like parody. I, did, I didn't actually think Americans did that. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it's not just America, it's most of the fucking West. And, yeah. I'm, and like, as an Asian, I'm just like, why did the West just normalize war I'm like, crimes? Why are your like dirty <laughs> fucking like gross ass shoes on the carpet? <laughs> that shit's gross. I yeah, mean, I, I, that, yeah. that's what blows my mind. I'm like, you are literally dragging like daily shit into your carpet yeah. by bringing your shoes in. Like, it yeah, and then, me and, and then and then people complain, being like, "Oh man, I hate carpet because it's so dirty." I'm like, "Yeah, because well, yeah, you're bringing in shoes." Fucking, like whenever I whenever I would go to a friend's house, yeah. and they would be like, and they, I I go to his house, and he would be like. Uh, it's okay, you can keep your shoes on. I'm like, motherfucker, yeah. tell me to take my shoes off. Yeah. I, I want I just, to take my shoes like, no, off, man. I, I would actually run, like, I'm not a fucking animal. I'm, yeah, not gonna, yeah. I'm not gonna bring dirt into the house, all like, right? I, I don't know what it is, but like when I'm shitting with shoes on in somebody's house, it feels so <laughs> weird. It feels like I'm in a public restroom. Like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna yeah. shit with my shoes on. Yeah, like, I, I wanna really, be comfortable, man. Yeah. Man, it's, that shit drives me insane. <laughs> Like, or, and there's people, I, there'll be people commenting me like, I wear my shoes in bed. Stop, 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 stop. for your own sake. It's gross. Please, stop. Please, if, 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 if you want to go against the Geneva Conventions, just do it, do it in your own fucking- <laughs> It goes against basic human rights. <laughs> yeah, no, right. <laughs> to wear shoes in bed. I love all our fans, except for the ones that wear shoes in their bed. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All my homies hate people who wear shoes in bed. Oh my God.
Yeah, my God. Because I went to fucking, um, Jesus, my uh, my editor, uh, Evan. I went to his house and that was disgusting. <laughs> he had like he had like a, a five inch thick carpet. Right. And I don't even know what kind of, I don't know what color this carpet was supposed to be, but it definitely wasn't the color that it came as. This shit was vile, dude. Evan, clean, cl fix that fucking carpet, man. And they all wore like the dirtiest shoes inside. And I was like, Evan, I can't. I can't right, I'm you. like, have you not heard of house slippers? Like if, know, you, if, right? you, yeah. if you have to wear something, just Why? wear slippers. Just, just What's wear wrong slippers? with bare feet, man, or yeah. socks? Yeah. yeah, but even even if it's like, it's dude, slippers, it's, it's fine, okay. it's clean. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. No matter what 2021 brings, you can spend it creating something meaningful with Skillshare's online classes because time is what we make of it. Damn, wow. that's, that's deep, bro. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. So much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives. Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth, Gaunt. Listen, I don't upload onto Instagram and do selfies and stuff like that often, but when I do, I want myself and whatever I'm taking Naturally. to look Naturally. clean, right? You want, exactly. you want to look good, right? Exactly. So I use iPhone photography, how to shoot and edit conceptual photos on your phone taught by Adobe Creative Resident, Emily Satska. Oh, and Holy fuck, you know, I, I watched that and I was like, hey, you know what? You can take good photos with your iPhone. And I that's will, exactly what I do. I will definitely use that because like I post on Instagram like at least once every- Who's carrying around a DSLR at all times? Yeah, you carry exactly. your phone around though. Yeah. So I'd like, like for the, like the one post in every two years I post on Instagram, <laughs> it'll be fucking perfect Yeah, for. you need it as well more than anybody. <laughs> with Skillshare, you can find inspiration in the moment and learn how to express your creativity. Bring color, beauty, and fun to your year. All add, caps. <laughs> add vivid details and craft complex wonders. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops. An annual That's subscription true. is less than $10 a month, gentlemen. I mean, they're practically okay, giving it away. Explore your creativity at Skillshare.com slash Trash Taste and get a free trial of premium membership. That's Skillshare.com slash Trash Taste. Links down in the description below. Thanks for sponsoring the episode. Back to the show. Going back to the topic of beds and everything. Mm. Opinions on pajamas. Do any of you guys wear pajamas? Oh, I sleep naked. Uh, like specifically like pajamas? Yeah, just pajamas. No, for me, it's just like underwear and some random t-shirt. All right, good. I don't understand pajamas at all. And yeah. some why, why people- you, Do you wear a t-shirt to bed? I don't want to wear, why? Why would you wear a t-shirt no, to bed? I mean, unless it's like fucking stinking hot, like in the summer, like I'll, I'll wear no shirt, but Max, most of the time I have like to Like Max shirt. Comfort is the least amount of clothes you could wear, yeah. basically. Yeah. And like, you know, you basically only wear boxes. So your fucking, your fucking dangly bits don't go everywhere. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty I much like, the only like reason. I like freedom though. though, you know, let them loose. <laughs> you know? I'm sleeping, I want to be comfy. <laughs> no, but like, I, like, I don't know. I like wearing a, a t-shirt because sometimes in the morning, the weather can like completely change. So I don't, especially nowadays in the winter, like I'm a little bit too cold if I don't wear at least a t-shirt, even yeah. with the even with the heater on. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I don't know. What about when you say like a friend's house? Right? Mm. Do you, what do you do? You, do you wear a t-shirt when you sleep? Because I I'm just like immediately I'm like right I'm stripping. Oh, I'm getting... it depends how close I am to that friend. Really. Yeah. I don't, I mean, it doesn't matter who who they are. I'm like right. If I'm staying in your house, I'm sorry. I'm asleep. Like I'll sleep with boxes on. I'll humor you. <laughs> I'll, I won't get my junk everywhere. Yeah. I'll sleep with boxes on. But so I'm like, like, you, you can just not wear a shirt. I I can't sleep with the t-shirt on. Why? What? I don't know. I feel like I'm outside still. You know, t <laughs> when I take the t-shirt off, in my head it signifies like okay, we're going to bed, or I'm going in the bath. Are you the type of person who like? like when doing like a serious, like heavy shit, like you have to like take your shirt off. No, but, <laughs> but, but. Wait, wait. No, I know people like that. Yeah, go, 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 go back. You don't know, you don't know people like that? No. Where it's just I like, do, if, if like, I, have, I, had, I had a few friends where like, uh, like if the pain was like really fucking, like it was such a powerful shit. They'll be like, to like fully get out like a hundred percent of their power, you, you, they would take this shirt you're off. You're trolling me. You're just- No, 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 my shirt off. But like, what if, okay, also when, when you're, when you're like hung over. <laughs> when, when you're, when you're, when you're hung over, the shits, just... the shits are terrible. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're like, fuck, I mean, I just woke up. I'm naked, so fuck it. I'll, I'll do it when I'm naked. Not gonna lie. Bad. I've had moments where the shit's been so like powerful and stressful where I'm just like, I have to take my shirt off. <laughs> I don't do that, but I know people who do. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's like placebo, but like it works. 
He's fucking right. Like, can you imagine like fucking Tyler one or something <laughs> on the shit? Ah! Just like, <laughs> you know, the only time I, I when, when I'm I like, if I'm ever real. like vomiting, I want to be naked. The, what? <laughs> because I, I want to get that shit anywhere or smell my clothes. So I'm like, I'll just yeah, get naked like, and, I, and I'll hug this toilet bowl until yeah. I'm done. But if you're hugging it, then like, there's no way you're gonna fucking blur, like onto your shirt. I just right? don't want that shit in my cl- my clothes at all, man. I'm like, right. I, I don't know. I just, and also feels better. I don't know why. Feel like I, I need to get, I need to get like, <laughs> it's too restrictive. I'm getting stuffy in these. I just want to vomit. <laughs> 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 Like, I don't know, like when I was to have How like- How did you vomit without well, your clothes? Because well, 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 <laughs> well, every time I've seen you vomit, you have clothes yeah. on, so. Well, when I, oh yeah, true. I was, I'm trying, <laughs> yeah, but like when I'm like, you know, if you have like, if you're really sick, you're like when I had food poisoning back yeah, in like yeah. whenever, you know, when they thought I had the Rona, like I, I, I was like vomiting and I, I had to be like naked because I was like, otherwise <laughs> I, I feel like get on my clothes. And I'm like, that's gross. It's so fun. L- little did you know that during the chess tournament, every time you went to take a shit, he'd just fucking rip off his Dude, suit. That was awful when I was taking the shit with the suit on. I'm like, please, please don't get it on the suit. That's the, that's the worst timing to take a shit. It's when you're in a full suit. <laughs> Like, it's gross. No, cause like for me wearing a t-shirt in bed is just like, sometimes, especially in the winter, you wake up and it's like a cold fucking morning. Yeah. I love that. And like, you, how do you escape your duvet at that point? Yeah. You just, it, it's it's like, I don't know, being branded. You're like, just fucking do it. No. Just do it. For me, it's just like gravity has increased tenfold in yeah. this bed. And, I, and it's like, I'm like experiencing 10 Gs in this bed right now. It's like, I, I actually can't get it off. It literally I, takes me like an hour to get out of bed. I don't know. I, I have like the, the fucking Call of Duty, like text popping up my screen, mission, get to the shower. Like that's what it's like for me. I have to do like one limb at a time to be yeah, like, yeah. All right, let me let me just get my right arm out. And once that's like room temperature, then yeah. I'll get my right leg out. It's like, all right, now I can go. But I, I used to have like a, a heated thing that you could put under your bed. Right. But that just made me lazier. So I got rid of it. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean? Yeah, I mean, I, I, mean that, that, I never wanted to leave well, the like, bed. Like oh. a heated bed. Like a heated thing under the like mattress. Right, so right, it right. was like just always warm. But then I was like, this is also a fire hazard. Uh, and uh, yeah, I just don't, I, I, I cannot get out of bed with this thing. In yeah, it, so. that's true. I mean, okay. Have we talked about Kotatsu's class before? I don't remember. I don't think we, I have. Don't think we, I have. Think we have. Okay. Explain them to the audience. So Tom. if, I mean, they watch anime, you watch anime, right? You know what a Kotatsu is. <laughs> if, if, if you don't know what a Kotatsu is, it's basically, basically like a heated coffee table where it's like a, it's like a little coffee table where that has blankets around it and you put your legs in it mm. and you put them under and it's all nice and cozy and warm. And it is amazing. I don't know about amazing. I, is, I think it's fucking amazing. There's, I remember, a few, there's a few logistical issues that crop up with no, a, such with a as. Kotatsu. Well, how, how many legs can fit under there? Depends, well, depends on how, how big, big the table depends is. How big, depends how it's big the table is. It's normally not that big. It's normally, you can comfortably probably fit two people's legs. No. I mean, are you are you, are you comparing wanna, this to my Kotatsu, which is fucking tiny? No, 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 like a normal Kotatsu. Cause like, I wanna put, I wanna stretch my legs fully out underneath yeah. that thing, right? Yeah, yeah. You can only really fit like two before you start like, you know, you start touching people's legs. I don't wanna touch Joey's legs. They're disgusting. Oh, <laughs> disgusting. All, all my homies touch no. legs. <laughs> I don't want to play footsie with Joey under the table while, Why, playing, I want while I'm playing Uno. I want to. <laughs> Fucking stop. I want to twiddle toes while I you, call Uno. Uh, what if you don't know them super, I mean, you probably do know them well. If you're yeah, really exactly. If, you, if, you, if you're sharing it to Kotatsu. Yeah, I'm not man. sharing your Kotatsu with a fucking stranger. Yeah. Why not? That should be a That's thing. weird. That should be in a restaurant. That's <laughs> weird. It's, it's nice, but then also I find that it's like, because you, I know you could turn it up and down, yeah. but it's like, it's, it's either like, I, I would rather the room be hot than my legs be hot. Does that make sense? No, I, I would no, not rather that. No. Okay, I've, I've, I, I've, I, I literally had this problem recently, which is like why I, I, I get reminded why I really don't fucking like winter, right? So <laughs> unlike the, unlike these boys, I fucking hate the cold and I hate I winter. I love the cold. And like the reason I hate it is because you know you're in a cold room and you want to get comfortable. Mm. So what do you do? You put on the heater. But I hate the feeling of a stuffy room. Right. Like they're, they're, like this room's have getting you, a bit. Uh, have you, you you're from a stuffy country, though. Have no, you, but have there's, you there's considered a... wearing another item of clothing? <laughs> no, be, a, no, 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 a no, jumper like, or hoodie. No, 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 because there's there's a problem because you if you wear like a fucking jumper or something and yeah. the room's cold, then your fucking hands are cold. And like, you, I'm just trying to it work. It is not that cold. It is it no, no, is no. It, it can cold. get that cold Do sometimes. You, in like, winter. does the blood circulate to your fingers enough or? Like, yeah, my fucking feet. Like, before we turned on the heater, my fucking feet were ice cold, man. I, I am not joking. 
It's, I, not, I, it's, I, it's I really get, not that I, cold. I, I you get are, cold are you a fucking limbs? lizard with your body? <laughs> like, what the fuck? No, I just, I, my body was just not built for the cold. And there's nothing more uncomfortable for built me than just- different in the opposite. Than, yeah. just, than just a stuffy room. Cause like sometimes I'm like, maybe I'm getting ill. And then I realize I, I go outside and it's because the room's so stuffy mm. that I haven't realized how uncomfortable I'm feeling. But, but that's why that's why I very rarely turn on the heater. Unless it's like a seriously cold. Because all, for me, yeah. it's like, if I'm cold, I'll just wear another layer of clothing. And then A, the room isn't stuffy and B, I'm warm. But also it's really easy to make a room not stuffy. You just open a window for like one minute after you've heated the room up. It yeah. won't be cold after one Yeah, minute. but then but then after you open the window, then it gets cold again. Not and then, in like and then the cycle continues. Not in one then, minute. There, there is there is like never, no, there's, no, there no, is no. never like a perfect temperature that I'm like happy with when it's winter. Because if, if I need to like artificially warm it up, yeah. then either it's gonna be too stuffy or I'm gonna be too cold. There is no in between. But there's something so nice about being in a warm room, knowing it's freezing outside. Yeah, There's I something agree. that's so magical about it. It's like going to bed in a thunderstorm, right? Like there's, there's something comforting about it. Yeah. I don't know if you guys relate like, no. to that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, 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 I just gave you like the thousand yard stance. Like you were like, yeah, yeah you guys know what I'm talking about. No, 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 I like it. I like it. I, I know what you mean. It, yeah, it, yeah. It, it's like the, it's just like white noise outside. Yeah, it's, nice. it, there's Comfort. something comforting about like outside is fucked right now, but I'm safe inside dry like, and warm. Some of the best sleeps I've had have been like camping on the floor, but because it's so fucking freezing outside and you're in a little like worm cocoon, yeah. it's so nice. Yeah, it's I like, agree. Oh, yeah. I agree. I agree. Oh, I, I just like I just like being comfortable existing, I guess. <laughs> I, like I, I don't want to do anything to make my existence more comfortable. I just like being in a room and being like, okay, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I, think you, I think you just spoke on behalf of all humanity. <laughs> I just want to. I just want a comfortable existence. God. I just want to be. He just wants to fucking wear a turtleneck in his room and and, and be a happy boy. Yeah. Honestly, what's wrong with that? I don't want to put on a heater. Okay, to be honest, the only reason why I okay, two reasons why I don't wear turtlenecks. A, you look like an asshole. I look like a dick. And B, I my Yo, neck. Steve hand jobs here though. No, Come no, on. you can make it work. Come on. I Come can't on. make it work. I look like a I look like a fucking weirdo with a turtleneck. But B, like my neck for some reason, I don't know what it is. It exerts so much fucking heat that, <laughs> like legit, like that's the reason why. Like I fucking like I can't wear a scarf either. Because when I wear a scarf, my neck gets so fucking sweaty. Bro, I fucking love wearing scarves. I know. I scarves like, are great. I like wearing scarves too, but only if it's like really, like I'm talking like, you know, minus 10, minus 20 degrees. Literally, literally the, the reason I started wearing turtlenecks had nothing to do with like me thinking turtlenecks looks, looks nice. Yeah. I just remember the first time I put on a turtleneck, I'm like, oh, this is like permanently wearing a scarf that I'd never have to take off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like perfect <laughs> for me. Exactly. Cause I fucking love the feeling of wearing scarves. Exactly. But like, it doesn't matter like how cold it is for me. I don't know why I get so sweaty around my neck. Who needs renewable energy when we can just use Joey's yeah. fucking neck you to can power just use, the you can, you can just all huddle around my neck like this and just warm your hands up on my neck. Like, I don't know what, I don't know what it is. Like my neck is always so fucking hot. It, which sucks because people have always told me, oh yeah, you look really good in a scarf. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I like wearing scarves. So I like the feeling of it, but yeah. I can only wear it for maybe Literally, like- You say that you're fine, but you're not really fine. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's like I like wearing a scarf and, and I think I look good in a scarf, but the problem is I can't wear a scarf for more than two minutes. Cause then I'm just like, fuck this. It's so hot. I can't. Over overheating, overloading. I, yeah. I, 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 going uh, kind of on topic, but okay, go, 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 go. Yeah, going back to why I like Kotatsu's is that Kotatsu's is like, I can feel warm in Kotatsu and not feel stuffy. Mm. So it's like right. one of one of like the few spaces where I'm just like, if I'm getting hot, I can just roll on the Kotatsu and- But that's the but that's the problem I have with Kotatsu's. It's the exact same problem I have with beds in winter. It's that the moment I enter the Kotatsu, the G's jack up to like 10 G's and I can't leave it. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I felt the same yeah. way. Also, I don't really like sitting on the floor. Like sitting on the floor isn't that comfortable for me. Right. And Kotatsu's you normally have to sit on the floor. Cause yeah. I, I need some like, I need some like back support, man. Come but there's, on. But there's, there's those chairs. There's, there's the back there's support chairs. chairs. Yeah. yeah, those are pretty good. But like most of the time you, they don't really have those, do they? It's just kind of like you just sit, put your leg and you gotta put your hands back. If you want to lean back a little bit. Like, I mean, you can lean back on the couch. 
Yeah, I mean, if there's a couch there, it's yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes people don't have that. I mean, right. you go, right? But whatever. I mean, I'm being nitpicky. You should, you should just yeah. bring your own, like, fucking foldable chair. Where, wherever like, I do you go, have a Kotatsu? I'm coming. I'm like that guy with the camping chair, like, flips it out with <laughs> one hand. I'm like, I'm ready for the Kotatsu. <laughs> exactly. I'm ready to be comfortable. Exactly. Yeah, honestly, like, Kotatsu is, I remember, I remember the first time I tried out a Kotatsu here in Japan, and it was, like, instant life changing moment. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? It's, it's just a warm table. What do you, like, oh, how's it life come changing? On, come on. Off. Come on. Like, you have some of those moments where you're just like, how did I go my entire life without this. Like, okay. He, it is pretty fucking wonderful. He, because heated toilet seats. The first time okay. I went to Japan and tried a heated toilet seats, I'm just like, how is the, the rest of the first world fucking, I, co- like uh, other first world countries haven't caught on to this. Yeah, I won't lie. I think I have actually ruined toilets for myself. Cause whenever yeah. I go to a toilet now that doesn't have a bidet, I legit feel like I'm- I broke. have a panic attack. I, le- <laughs> I legit feel like, how am I supposed to wash my ass clean? Wipe it? Are you kidding me? I'm yeah. not an animal. I don't touch that area. Do I? If I ever move back to the UK, no joke, I'm I'm 100% invest like, in a bidet. The, the, the suitcase is empty, dude. I'm I'm making room for the premium $1000 bidet because I'm using that shit daily. I want to shit like a king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and like I remember Pro ZD, I was talking to him as well one time. He was like, "Dude, when he went back from when he came back from Japan, the one thing he brought was a bidet." Because really? he was like, "I, I insist." I feel him. He he, I, he has taste, man. Yeah, he, has he, taste. he he was arguing, he was like, "I insist that I shit like a king." And I'm like, <laughs> "Honestly, I completely understand it. Cause yeah, once yeah, you get yeah. used to a bidet and you get the heated seat, mm. you know, you get the, you get the little pressure washer. You can have it set to like boom, 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 boom. They like go yeah, back yeah. and forth on your ass cheeks. It's yeah. nice, dude. Yeah. I might, my ass feels permanently clean. Yeah. Why wouldn't I want to shower for my ass every time I shit? <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Sometimes I, I don't even shit, but I do it. Cause I'm like, why not clean my ass? <laughs> why not? Why? I, I got time. I got, I got some time. I, I got why time. not make my ass feel refreshed? Cause yeah, you know, yeah. sometimes, right, man, you have those days where, you, where like, it's it's a hot day. Mm. And you get like swamp ass, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, your ass just gets kind of sweaty. Yeah. Like, no, it's not even bad, but just a little bit, right? Okay. You're like, why not just clean? Yeah, your butt cheeks get a little stuck. Okay, so, 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 you, so, you, so you talk, okay, I, I, I completely missed on this. So you're not talking about it's heated. The heated seat seats. is also amazing. But you're talking about bidets. The, yeah, the bidet and, but the, the, the heated seat's part of the bidet package, yeah. right? Even the cheapest ones Okay, I, I don't use the, Washing, ass washing what? function of the bidet at all. Why not? Ah, fucking, it just it just doesn't feel clean. It, it I don't does. know. It's clean. I don't know. It's it, the cleanest oh. thing in the toilet. It, it does not. F- I like. You I, are kidding me. It, okay, so you, so yeah, you. This is this is so like you, going to space and being like, yeah, I never looked out so the window. Bidet, why, 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 would you, I, why would I? Why would I look so, out the so, window? So like you bidet your ass, right? <laughs> yeah. You got the water shooting up your ass, yeah. and then you stop it, and then you just got to fuck. You just yeah, got so you, you just got wet so, ass. So you get some of the toilet paper and you just dry it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you dry it off. Yeah. Look, it's, that's. Yeah, because like you need the toilet paper, but it doesn't feel clean without that wipe. Like, but, yeah, but okay, but some of them- That's have, what you have to wipe. Some of them have dryers and those are pretty good. No, no, no. I, I, have you tried? Have you tried? Go I on. have tried. Fuck off. I have tried. tried. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, because there's a difference between wiping to dry your, why are we talking about this? Fuck there's a difference between <laughs> wiping to dry your ass and wiping to get the shit out. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They're very different types of wipes, yeah. <laughs> right? One is one is like a deep wipe what, and the other is, is like I, a shallow wipe. Just, one is an ex- excavation. Look, look, The look. other is a pat down. Look, look, toilet papers were what? not designed <laughs> to wipe wet asses. No, because your ass because isn't your ass isn't the fucking like Amazon River, dude. It's a it's a little moist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what, what, I, what I hate is when when you have a wet ass after bidet, you go to you go to wipe it and the toilet paper just fucking disintegrates on your hand. Bro, what, what how, are you? Are you how using much water, water are you fucking like using? Okay, look, look, look. how much how much water can your asshole in vertical <laughs> position contain? It doesn't and matter. Second of all, it's fucking toilet paper. What, what ply are you using, Gone? What huh? ply are you using? One ply. Fucking sandpaper? What are you yeah. using to absorb? You got to use the double. The, Bro, double minimum. Least. Come on. No, like toilet. What, pa- what ply are you using? God, well, what, what does I? What's apply? <laughs> How many sheets of paper is used in it? Yeah. Bro, are, okay. are you using like one square and be like, like shit? Come on, like, it doesn't fucking matter. When man. You anyone it, who lives no, no, in it Asia, does matter. anyone who lives in Asia knows that toilet paper here is weak as fuck. That sounds it broke. Is that sounds broke is, as fuck. You sound broke right now, gone. I can't believe how it much is. It is I thought like because I thought it was just it was just a Thai thing where toilet paper was just like fucking flaccid. No, I moved to Japan and toilet paper here is like fucking weak no, as you fuck. You can buy the good shit. Yeah, you get the double ply shit and then you do like uh, maybe like one wrap around yeah, your hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's more than enough to absorb any amount of liquid yeah, that's down you there. You pile on three little sheets, yeah, yeah. right? That's a not nice thickness yeah. to it, right? That two ply. Like at least like that yeah. thick. And then just get under there, it won't rip. Good. And yeah. And, and I, your ass is clean I, and it's dry. I, I, I cannot believe 
you would come here. Like, cause honestly, bidet is in the top three things about Japan, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. He did toilet seats, bidet yeah. is the whole okay. The whole like, shitting experience yeah. is top three. <laughs> the whole toilet experience. is like a top three Japanese thing for me, man. Like, it's just great. Like, okay, an an another thing. About, I look forward to an shitting. Another, yeah. another thing about bidets as well. Like it shoots up right up your asshole, right? That's exactly and, what I want. And yeah. then you just feel like you have, you're, you're fucking shitting out water. And so like, how, how gaped is your yeah. asshole? Do you, you like, like, do you like, do you like goats? Yeah, he's like, this is like, <laughs> like just sit no, down on just, it, man. There's just fucking water stuck in your asshole, uh, man. You, you know what, you uh, fucking, so are you like giving yourself like a prostate massage on a bidet? Uh, like, no, it just like, water. it just naturally. Because do you get water stuck in your anus? No. No, I mean, how do you do that? It's your, what is oh, your asshole? Fucking, like, like, <laughs> <laughs> are you are you are you putting your asshole over the bidet like thing? Like are you are you putting like it in? Hose. Yeah, are you putting the hose in? What no, but doing? the stream of water is fucking strong enough. Put that down, like, put it yeah, down. Put it down. <laughs> No. Why you like? Why, uh, why you probably set it to like fucking pressure hose? Yeah, like fucking yeah, like, that's how, that's to like how, public fountain. Display. No, no, no. Because <laughs> because if it's not strong, then it's just a fucking trickle on your ass, and that's not cleaning up there shit. It's called medium. It, you yeah, can get medium. A, you, you need the fucking pressure to fucking clean that shit yeah, off your usually, ass. But if it has enough pressure to clean the shit off your ass, then you're getting water stuck in your ass. No, there not. is no, no in between. No, there is no, no in between. No, I, you're I not. have my my bidet is on the fucking max pressure, and it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, because like. Because, <laughs> because you can feel the shit coming off. And I mean, I don't know about you, but my asshole man, fuck, is normal. Fucking ironclad asshole yeah. right here, man. Just clench it a bit yeah, and then I, you'll be I right. clench, I clench yeah. it no, a little bit. Because if you clench, then you're not fucking cleaning it properly. Yes, you're, you are. you're clenching when you're shitting. What do you mean? <laughs> You're, wait, you're not cleaning it properly when you clench? Of course you are. Yeah. What do you mean like clench? Wait, you clench when you fucking bidet that shit? As in like, like pucker, pucker up yeah, your asshole a little bit. bit. <laughs> I, I, again, I'm not. <laughs> God is like, God is like, relax my anus. <laughs> allow the water to flow in. Like what are you you're doing? You're giving yourself a fucking like well, bidet no, enema. Like <laughs> <laughs> that's what it feels like. It honestly feels like I'm getting it. I'm taking a you fucking bidet this, enema every time. You are doing time. this totally wrong, God. <laughs> Oh my god! Wait, because I've like had, I, I don't clench when I shit. What do you mean? What? Are you, what what are you just like? Whoa. I let gravity do its work. What is no, this? Like, a fun slip and slide? You're <laughs> asshole. Wait, 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 How is this shit coming up? Like, how you, lubed up what, is your what asshole? You, what do you mean by clench? You just mean push? Yeah, yeah punch. That's the same thing normally. Yeah. No, like, that, like, no, okay, that doesn't help with the bidet. It still goes up the fucking asshole even, even if you fucking push that shit out. Well, I, we need an anatomy of your asshole. Yeah, like, just, I need. Like, we can need we get an X-ray of your yeah, asshole we need, like, so we can see what's going on. Can we get like bidet cam just to see like what like how fucking loose your asshole is when it gets bidet? Like, I just don't like the feeling of like water on my ass and I don't know. It's so just, wait, what about in the shower? Yeah, what do you clean your ass with? No, I, okay, so you, you you know you know when you- Do you clean your ass gone? Yeah, I clean my fucking <laughs> How do you ass. Clean your ass. You talked about the sweaty, you talked about the sweaty fitting swamp in your ass. asshole. Yeah. yeah, swamp pass. Yeah. If I get swamp pass, I just take a fucking shower, man. I don't even bidet a whole that shit. Shower? Yeah, I fucking- That's so unnecessary. I can yeah. take I can take three showers God a day takes if I one need shit, to. It, it goes home, he's like, fuck, got a shower now, yeah. man. Honestly, honestly, like sometimes <laughs> if I want to feel clean after a shit, I just take a fucking shower, man. Quick five, quick five what are minute. You, what are you doing in these toilets? You like you gone, gone is that one dude who when you leave some public restrooms, it's like a fucking war zone. Yeah. Like that, that must be gone. That, that is no, not no, how no. there's shit everywhere, shit on the wall. It's like, that is gone. It's gone going in the it's restroom. It's like shit in places you didn't think shit would end up. No, like, I'm, I'm, it's, it's the fucking opposite, man. God's, my, God's my like, why would I use a bidet when it can't reach my, the wall? My, my shits, <laughs> my, like my shits are like the cleanest shits, you know? Fuck off. Fuck they, off. They, they are. There's no such thing as a clean shit. Wait, so okay, you, no. Have you never had like the perfect shit? The you know, no like, wipes. The no wipes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, like the, the swish. The, per is like the perfect, sh the perfect shit, which is just like you just shit out a log, and it's like <laughs> one yeah. solid clean log, and then you look at it, yeah. and it's like no wipe. You look at it, I, and you're just yeah. like, man, I, that's a fucking piece of art right I, I, there. In my family, we call that the swish because it man, doesn't I, touch the sides. Man, I, I hope, <laughs> no, one's, like, I hope no one's eating during this episode. <laughs> It's like, yo, I just did a swish right there, man. <laughs> you don't need a fucking bidet after you did that fucking swish, man. I mean, to I me, still like it though. I still do it anyway because it feels good. To me, that is like the equivalent, right? Of coming to Japan and just being like, yeah, man, I just ate only KFC and Burger King. Yeah. It's like, you've wasted the true potential of Japan. <laughs> Like, what have you done? <laughs> like you, you, it, it is it is on par, honestly, with food to me about Japan. Like yeah. food's amazing. And the shitting experience is also godlike. <laughs> I, I, I actually look forward to taking a shit. Yeah. I can't wait to crack open the bidet and just feel amazing. <laughs> crack open the crack bidet. Open the, <laughs> crack open the bidet with the boys. <laughs> crack open the bidet, you know, and just have a great fucking time. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> you shit for pleasure. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I do. Honestly, yeah. I used to shit because it was a bodily function. Now I look forward to my shits because yeah. it's Japan. And they they figured out how to make shitting an enjoyable experience. I, mean, so. I, I look forward to shitting for like other reasons. Like the bidet is just like- What's not the other reason? The- what, did you have a warm ass? Yeah, well, well, one, I have warm ass and there's like two fucking sacred places for me. And one is the shower and the other one is when I'm taking a shit. Right, no. Like, I, prob- probably like my channel wouldn't wouldn't exist if I couldn't shit or shower. What you having, where the fuck am I gonna get my ideas from? Are you having fucking existential crisis in the toilet? Fuck, yes I am. Who doesn't? Do you not? No, me. because taking a shit for me is enjoyable. Yeah, I have a great time. That's the reason, like people think that I take such a long time to shit because I'm having like a mental breakdown time. No, I'm just having a fucking great <laughs> no, time. I'm just like, why would I leave early? When I'm having this much fun right here. <laughs> it's so I, fun. I fucking love shitting. Bidets are just, I don't know, in, in Thailand, we have like an even worse thing, which is like, it's 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 like it's like a self bidet, right? Mm. So in, in like most Southeast Asian countries, we don't have like the auto mm. on your ass bidets. We have like a little, like a shower head, like a mini shower head that you have to like put between your legs. Oh, yeah, some European countries have that too, right? Yeah. Or the sure. little bowl, the thing that, like the little bowl next to it, or you do it in the toilet itself. In the to- in it's, the, it's, in the, it's in like the, the little bowl thing, but oh. in the toilet the itself. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at that point, like, I don't know, I've always hated that feeling because then you just get wet balls. That's and- too much <laughs> because the bidet is precise with where it aims, yeah. right? And when you've used your own bidet long enough, you know where to the aim. The bidet is like sniping your ass. Yeah, you know like, where to you aim You know where it's going to go, yeah. And you know the radius of which it'll spray. Yeah, yeah. So you've got it down or not, right? Oh my God. <laughs> can't we talked about fucking- How long have we been talking about <laughs> Showering our asshole. Cause I wanted, like I want, I've always wanted to talk about it on the podcast cause yeah. it's one of the, no joke, the most enjoyable parts of Japan. I know what to call this episode now, the Japanese toilet experience. <laughs> <laughs> the shitting Japanese experience. I know no. where golden Reckham experience comes from yeah. now. And it's, it's when you're on the fucking toilet. <laughs> Did you get like, did, were you a bit like worried when you first saw how fuck, how to operate the bidet when you first came to Japan? Yeah, I think a lot of British people are. Cause yeah. it's, it's like the thought of spraying your ass is so foreign to us. Yeah. What was and, that you know, thing that you and Alan did again the first time you went to the fucking uh, hotel We bidet? were curious at how the bidet knew when you were sitting on it. Yeah, yeah. And so with the, the, the bathroom was like a wet room. So we were like, okay, well it doesn't matter if this bidet sprays everywhere. And so we, we, were, we had like a few drinks. We were like, let's figure out how the bidet works. So we figured out the bidet won't spray unless there's pressure on the seat. Yeah, it was yeah. pretty fucking cool. Yeah, and then it was like spraying on the wall because no one was sitting on. <laughs> and so it was just spraying. Was like pushing it. Bro, this thing was going far. It was spraying on oh, the yeah. wall. It was that's, crazy. That's, that's the pressure that goes and up that's your what I want man. going on that's, my ass. That's the pressure that I had, goes up I had, your fucking I had a traumatic story of, because I, I, at, at our house in Australia, we always had a bidet because my mom was like, I can't live without a bidet. So it's like Because she's Japanese week. and she's yeah. like a king. Why yeah. would you go she's back like, to shitting like a peasant? She's like, let me teach you. Let me teach you Australians how to shit like a king. So we had it in our in our house, but of course, when I was little, I didn't use the bidet, right? Because mm-hmm. I didn't know what the fuck it was. I was just like, oh, buttons, but I didn't, I didn't fucking press any of them. <laughs> yeah, I remember first time seeing a bidet, yeah. and I'm just like, yo, do I need to? Do yeah. I need a license to operate this shit? <laughs> The <laughs> license. So he's like, I feel like if I if I press the wrong button, like this toilet's gonna take yeah. off. Like yeah, he, he, here is like the fucking operating system of the bidet that you can see on screen right now. Especially like going to Japan the first yeah. time and it's all in the different but, language. Yeah, but basically well. like when I was little, like I never knew how to use the bidet, right? Cause I, yeah. I was just learned to like, just make sure to wipe and wash your hands and then you'll be good. Yeah. But you know, when you get to like around like, age six or seven, you start to get a little bit curious what these buttons are. You're just like, <laughs> what? I wonder what this is. So I did the fatal mistake though. So I, I pushed the, the bidet, like start bidet uh, button, yeah. but I made the fatal mistake Pushing of getting up off my seat and looking down at the toilet bowl. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> spray you in the face. So it fucking sprayed me in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> and there's just water going everywhere. And I'm like, I don't know how to stop this. What the fuck's happening? I, I actually thought I broke my toilet. <laughs> So I called my mom and I'm just like, mom, come in. So she came in fucking bidet water going everywhere in this toilet. <laughs> so it's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then the last thing she said, like she finally stopped it and she's like, you could have at least like flushed your shit, man. Like I didn't, but, I didn't, I didn't have to see that. But though. also the bidet water is also warm. Yeah. So it is literally like a warm shower. It is like a like, warm shower. You know, it's just only W's, only W's. Are. And you know, the thing no. is, right, is that, you know, if you're an American or you're just a Westerner in general and you come and you see this toilet, yeah, it can be daunting, right? Cause yeah. you know, normally things don't go near your ass. You're not used to that. No, no. Just embrace it. It feels good. You yeah. know, it's scary. But once it's you want, once you admit that things feel good when they spray your ass, yeah. <laughs> like, like, be so it's, like it's like discovering a new fetish. It's like, <laughs> you know what? Just give it a go. It's yeah. like, yeah. Does it feel a little erotic? <laughs> it, it feels I mean, it, do, it, it does, but it, you know, if it, it feels good, 
the wet ass afterwards just doesn't feel good. Dry it, just dry it, man. Just dry it's it, not, man. It's not that hard. That's then it doesn't feel clean. I don't know, my asshole doesn't feel properly there clean unless no I soak that clean. shit. Like, I don't feel properly clean after a wipe. I feel like 90% clean after a wipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you know there's always gonna be a little bit left. Right, right. And like, you know that bidet is scraping that shit it's, off. It's, it's like washing your washing. hands without soap. It's like, you might feel clean, but you don't really, until you use that soap. Right. I know, I, I need to physically feel my asshole being clean oh and not God. like getting it washed. I don't know. I need to feel that shit, man. I, I need to confirm with my own hands. <laughs> well, then that's what you should do. You should use the bidet and then wipe it with your hand <laughs> and see if it's still there. No, because like, it's, it doesn't feel properly clean to me unless I fucking shower. Like my asshole never feels clean unless I shower and I properly soap in it. This man's like wasting fucking buckets of water to clean his ass. I, I when he could just be using a bidet. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you can never take too many showers. I I, I love the feeling of taking I'm a shower. Sure you can take too many showers. Yeah. I don't know. Your man. skin is like natural oil that it needs. And yeah, if you yeah. shower too much, you get rid of it, Con. I don't know. Like for me, I, I love the feeling, especially in summer when it's hot, just taking like a nice- Yeah, that's different. A though. nice that's cold different. shower. That's a little different though. That's a that's a bit different. But like, like, e like e even now, now in the winter, I take like three showers. Like I get a bit cold. Really showers? You take three showers? Yeah, sometimes. Why? But not, not, not oh, like- No, no not, you don't fucking upload videos. Not, You're always not, in the fucking shower. <laughs> not, not, sh not, like, not like properly long showers. Just like sometimes I get a bit cold. <laughs> My, my like, yeah, like I, like I said, my, my, like either I'm too stuffy or, or I'm too cold. So sometimes I can't be bothered to wait for the fucking heater to go on. Just pop in the shower, like get a bit of warm water in me. All right, I'm back up to warm. This man spends more time in the shower thinking of ideas than actually committing this to the is, ideas. This man is not the clown, he's the whole circus. <laughs> you know what's also fucked up as well about you gone? <laughs> Hate to bully you this episode, but you don't use your bath at all, do you? You and Sydney no. don't take baths. Uh, Sydney, I don't either though. No, I mean, okay. I don't like taking a bath in like, it, it feels like I'm in like a prison cell bath. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm taking a, a like, okay. So Japanese baths are fucking tiny. They're not that, yours isn't that bad. You can, you can sit yeah, Okay, there. if I can't stretch my legs out in the bath, then it's not even a bath to me. Well, I don't you're even, you're I taking don't a bath in a, fully. It's, it's a glorified sink in that place. No. <laughs> Yeah. No, no, yeah, yeah. The point is you have to take a bath like like this. You, you do the it's fucking- It's not that bad. The L, you, the you do L the fucking thing. L position. No. And I'm like, okay. It's so not like, that bad. I take like, I, I would say 90% baths, 10% showers. Really? No, yeah. no. Yeah, yeah, honestly, honestly. Because in Japan, right? It, the best thing is, is that you can like reserve your bath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As it says, Yeah. which is like, if you know what time you're waking up, you can set the bath to be full and hot by that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, why the fuck do we not have this in it's any- It's the biggest brain okay. move. Like, w they have like fucking NASA in the US, but they haven't figured out how to fucking schedule a bath. Like, <laughs> I know what time I'm gonna wake up. <laughs> I know what time I need to be in that bathtub. Yeah. Why can I not do this basic fucking function, right, right, right. right? And then also, you have one button, You don't, like, cause in the UK, right? What you have to do is just turn the tap on yeah. and keep checking on it every five minutes. Yeah. Pain in the ass. In Japan, there's one button that fills it up to the perfect amount or the amount you set yeah. at the exact temperature that you set. Yeah. How is, this is the fucking future, man. <laughs> like, why wouldn't I take a bath no, every day? I, I, uh, I just feel like for me, baths are just not, are not ergo, uh, ergonomically designed for me. Cause like, I feel like I'm too tall to properly appreciate a good bath, right? I mean, you're, you're not, you're not you're that not, much taller than Connor. Yeah, you're not that much taller than me. Where, okay, like, cause like I love onsens, right? The yeah. reasons I love onsens is I'm submerged in water and I'm in a comfortable position. I can never get in a comfortable position in any of, in any of the baths I've like ever owned in my life. Cause here's, here's the issue, right? So I want to stretch my legs out, but then my body is above the water. So you go submerge yourself and then you no, oh. unsubmerge and then your body just gets cold, no, right? Peak peak bath position, right? Is like the water's up to like here. Yeah. Like your arms are out of the yep. tub. You're yep. like maybe watching something there. Like that's the best. Yeah. No, maybe you got a beer as well. Because you, then your upper body is like cold. I like, I no, like no, 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 it's no. the perfect temperature control. Yeah. Because your head is, is like free. You got this bit getting cold and then you got the rest of your also, body also boiling. Also because the bath water is so hot, it the, the hot, like the steam from the hot water makes the room warm mm, 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 as well. Mm. Yeah, it's, I feel like you just haven't given baths the true shot they deserve gone. <laughs> no, because I, I, and in I, Japan, I, again, you're wasting another potential of Japan, which is how fucking good the baths are. No, the baths are way too small here. No, I don't want to be no. sitting. If, 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 my, if my legs are curled, then that's not a bath to me. 
I, well, like, you know what we're doing? You're not, you're not fucking daddy long legs in this bitch. Ne- like, you're, you're, you're not that much Next taller. Next time, I'm going to your like, house. Bar, baths no. are meant to be relaxing. And I'm time, relaxing. I, 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 need, I, I need to be in a comfortable position to be in a relaxed I don't to fucking relax. believe you. That's ne- why I love onsens and I just don't take baths. Showers, showers to me are just more relaxing. I don't believe you. Next time I'm going to your house, I'm, and- f- I'm forcing you to get in the bath with, <laughs> with your clothes on. <laughs> you're like, you're fucking- Sit there. I want to well, judge. Well, I want to well, judge this position. Yeah. That's bullshit. I don't believe you. Yeah, we have one in the studio. Go in this one. Okay, well, after okay, this yeah, episode- Yeah, that one's we'll... tiny as well. That one's yeah, okay, too tiny. That t- one is actually smaller than normal, yeah, yeah. but we'll get gone in there and we'll yeah, look yeah, what's yeah. going on. Yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll no, because the, the, the other thing of like, I have like the only times I've had baths is in my home in England. And I don't know, like the way, okay, like do you, okay. When you're in a bath, do you put your legs towards the tap or do you put like your back towards the tap? Legs towards the legs tap towards always. The tap, what animal course. puts their back towards the tap? Because the tap is always like, I don't know. I, I always have like, I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes sometimes I like accidentally hit the tap and it's either too hot or too cold. And it just like ruins well, the entire vibe want, for me. Well, you want the legs there. Cause they're like, you don't want to burn your back. Yeah. I've actually done that before, and I think that's just. I don't think that's just. You completely are a clown. Me you are a clown. Brain move right here. Also, I saw your bath at your parents' house. It wasn't that nice. Come on, gone. Come on, you can do better than that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Like even if I'm in a fucking nice hotel, I'm like, I don't take. Bro, there is nothing better than a hotel that is a big ass. Yeah, bath. I agree. That's, that's, that's like amazing. that's like the only time where I'm exclusively like fuck showers. I'm going in that bar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Always, always, always. Also, I like the feeling of just having like water, like. Spraying on you. I don't know. It's it's just like a nice. Well, then go out into the rain. (laughs) Honestly, okay. okay, Honestly, like rain in Southeast Asia is fucking great. Okay, because I like we we when we think of rain, we think of like cold, fucking depressing British rain that just fucking. Mm, It's it's like it's it's like God blew a fucking raspberry on you, and I hate that feeling. (laughs) Right. But in in Thailand, when it rains, it fucking pours, right? right? right and it's right. probably like, and it's warm as well. It's right. like taking a warm shower. If well, doesn't it feel like you're just getting pissed on? Yeah, it also, what? It's, <laughs> it's, it's so fucking humid because it was doing that in Japan yeah. in the summer, it was raining and it was like deceiving. So I'm like, finally I'll be cold. Yeah. But no, it was just more fucking heat yeah. directly applied to my skin. That's that's what I hated about when, when I went to uh, the Philippines like for the first time and it was like May. So it wasn't even like properly hot yet. Yeah. But because it's this is Southeast Asia, it's still fucking hot in May. Yeah. And, and it, the moment I got outside, my hair just fucking turned into an Afro because of the amount of humidity. And then there was a pool where we were staying. So I was like, oh, thank God. I can finally jump in the pool and I'll cool myself off. No, because it was so fucking humid outside. It was like walking into a a fucking puddle of piss. Like it was, it was, just, it was horrible. I was like, I like, I like heated pools, and I like regular pools. But the temperature of this pool is like halfway in between of mm. that, and it was just like lukewarm like kind that. of water. I was just like, that makes you feel like someone's shitting it. Yeah, right. Like. It's like it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't make the water feel clean. It's like Bro, perfect that's... bacteria temperature. Yeah. <laughs> it makes you feel real gross. Exactly. Yeah. Bro, that's why cold showers are like. No, fucking they're good, amazing. They're good. They, they are amazing. I mean, that's why like when I used to swim in public pools, the best ones were like the ones that are initially cold, but you yeah. get warm as you swim. Exactly, yeah. Because that's like nice. Because then yeah. it also forces you to keep swimming. Yeah. And you don't get too comfortable. That's the ones where you just like, you feel the water and you're like, oh, that's cold. But I'm just going to commit and just mm-hmm. fully jump in and submerge my body all at once. Yeah, 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 and yeah. then yeah. You're, you're fine after that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like this. Fuck, I can't believe you're just an animal, can't. <laughs> I, you can take I've, the peasant I've, I've, out of Thailand, but you can't take the peasant. <laughs> sorry, sorry, the Thailand out of peasant. <laughs> Fuck, I, I messed that up. Nailed I that. have the superior taste. Uh, I'm just, I'm Mr. just. Don't eat crust. Look, cut, this, I'm, I'm, I just want to exist happily. You know what I mean? That's that's all I want to do. I want you to exist correctly, God. I want you to use the bidet when you can, and I want you to take a bath every now. Treat yourself, God. I just yeah, treat it. yourself, Come on, man. I, I don't. You're wanna, better than that. I don't want a wet fucking ass. You don't have to be. Wipe. That's what toilet paper was invented then for. I, then I don't want wet fucking fingers after I wipe. That's just- How fucking weird Bro, is your are ass? Are you clawing your ass out with your bare hands? What are you doing? <laughs> Maylene, you- Maylene, your hands don't get wet when you use a bidet, do they? Yeah, right? See? Right? That's it is disgusting. disgusting. That's why I hate it. Yeah. No, I am using toilet <laughs> he's paper. Just, he's just using his hands. No, he's, using, he's, using the, like, the, oh, the, he's using the heat of friction to warm his ass back up, to <laughs> evaporate the water off his cheeks. What are you doing, Gon? Oh, his I, ass cheeks are like- Okay, you know what? I wanna, I wanna watch you shit after this. <laughs> I wanna see what you're doing. I need to judge your technique. You're doing it all wrong. Let's fucking do it. I'm, no. I'm ready. <laughs> shit review, let's go. Is, can, we, can we get a GoPro inside of the toilet bowl yeah. to see what's going yeah, on? Yeah, I, like, I want a bidet cam just to see. <laughs> I need to see what's going on. I need to see yeah. what you're doing in, in this fucking bowl, Gon. <laughs> Next special. <laughs> The bidet special. The bidet special. Will God be able to learn how to use a bidet correctly? Needless to say, I, I am a hundred percent 
bringing back a bidet if I have a house. I am bringing back a Kotatsu. That, that is, I'm bringing back a well, heated should, toilet well, seat you, and a Kotatsu. Well, you don't need the table. You can just get the, you can just get the heated element, right? And screw it on. It's just a, it's just a, a, a box that makes heat. That's basically it. <laughs> it's it's, no, cause you need like, you need like the, you need like the heated element. You need like the table and you need like the cover on top of the table to like well, you can place just get the another, blanket. Another, another yeah, because table. the good thing about a Kotatsu is that in the summer you can still use it because all you have to do is just take the sheet yeah, off which is and then it turns back into a regular table. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, true, so it's true, like a specially true. made table. Yeah. Yeah. Kotatsu is a bomb. Kotatsus are like the best thing in Japan. No, <laughs> best? Well, one of the best things. He did toilet seats are a good- Bidet, all my homies He did toilet seats are a close second. I'm, I'm, um, I'm, on, I'm on team Bidet in this yeah. instance, I think. I love my Kotatsu, but man, there's nothing more disgusting than a gross asshole. I'm just saying it right there. <laughs> how dirty is your, I don't even want to imagine. <laughs> maybe, you that, guys, maybe you guys are just shitting wrong. No, we're not I'm, shitting. I'm, no, we're not <laughs> shitting wrong, Gon. What's, you the, are, what's the wrong way of shitting? Like what, shitting I, I, on the I, wall? I, how is it wrong if I have a great time, I end up perfectly clean, I'm very happy and my ass isn't wet. I'm doing it the right way as far <laughs> as I'm concerned. Yeah, you're shitting wrong. <laughs> if you end up with a fucking swampy Gon, asshole. Gon, Gon's like instructions unclear, adopted a child. Like what's, what's <laughs> going, what are you doing on this toilet, man? Like sort your fucking life out, bro. <laughs> I'm thinking of, fucking bomb ass videos on the toilet and uh, in the shower as well. Clearly not thinking about personal hygiene or staying dry. <laughs> I am very so happy man, with I, my man, personal hygiene. I have hygiene. a poopy asshole, but I got a great <laughs> video idea. <laughs> that's exactly it, man. That's exactly it. <laughs> that's like literally stinky poo poo. <laughs> uh oh, stinky. <laughs> But hey, look at all these lovely patrons who are helping to support the show. These patrons yeah. of Team Bidet. A, a question to you patrons this time, right? See what I did there, little yeah. reference, Ooh. cause Gaunt loves to say that, that's the joke. Question to you. Uh, we boys, we'd like to do a tour or something in the US. Oh we, yeah, we've got to talk oh, about yeah, that, yeah, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we have. Yeah. Would you guys be interested in us maybe doing Trash Taste Live across the US? Would that be something that it's, maybe- It's just a very brief idea of yeah. course. We can't, we can't do it now because of the state of the world, but- But maybe in like a year or something. Yeah, whenever, like whenever, whenever the US gets its shit back together, yeah. I think like we'll definitely be open to that idea. But yeah, that are you something? guys open to that idea is more of the question. So yeah, I guess wanna, let us wanna know. Yeah, we wanna gauge interest if that's yeah. what you guys yeah. wanna So wanna definitely do. let us know. And if you'd like to support the show, then of course go over to patreon.com slash Trash Taste. Also follow us on Twitter, uh, check out our subreddit, give us some memes and uh, listen to us on Spotify if you don't want to see our faces. Yeah. Um, but yeah. But why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? I want you to see in H, no 4K, sorry. Yeah. Me shouting at Gon yeah. about, about him being- About, about having a poopy butthole. <laughs> about, about being a little uh, stinky about, poopy poopy About hole. our shitting technique, <laughs> which I can't believe that we've, I think you are, you are, podcast, you are literally like, like fucking gone pre nen when you shit. And I, I'm like Netero with all my eight hands slapping this, like my ass clean, dude. You are like so inferior. You can't even fathom the level that I am on. Man, that's all I'm gonna say. Thank you for watching this episode of Trash Taste. Yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I promise our well, conversation will be a lot nicer. I hope you didn't eat this with dinner. I really yeah, hope. Yeah, I really yeah. <laughs> if you're eating this with food, I'm sorry. We should probably have a warning at the beginning. Nah, yeah. no, 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 you're, nah, you're gonna, you know you're, you're you're gonna understand. You know, you know what you're yeah. getting into. It's Trash Taste. Yeah. We talk about it. All right, yeah. see you guys Goodbye, next gamers. week. See you later. Bye. Bye.